Okay, Mr. Alex, ready? Three, two, one, and we are live. Welcome everyone, good morning to mastaekwondo.com social media platforms. For us, it's really a pleasure to have you all here. We want to give special thanks to all U.S. World Class Taekwondo Association members for joining us today. And of course, big thanks to all Caribbean m and and all the m and of uh, WTPA and around the world that are joining us today for this great seminar. For me, it's a pleasure to introduce you first to the Secretary General of the WTPA, Master Richin, for the welcoming speech to this great seminar. Welcome, sir. Well, good morning to all our Caribbean friends and to our Latin families, as well as our U.S. World Class Taekwondo Association students. It's great to see everybody's doing well, safe, and healthy during this pandemic. This initiative of our Black Belt Seminars, Kumse Seminars, is done by Grandmaster Raymond Sue throughout last year and also continue on with this year. So I'd like to thank your time on this beautiful day on Saturday to attend this seminar, as well as I thank our Caribbean m and supporting this Kumse Seminar, getting involved, along with Master Franel Austin, who is behind this organizing this seminar as well, getting groups together, and also as our Mas Teplando for, for promoting these events. Once again, thank you, and thank you for supporting, and great to see everybody here. Thank you. Thank Master. you, Master. Thank you, Master Shane. Thank you, Master Shane, for your words and for the sponsorship of this great seminar to, to all the MAs that are joining us today. Now I would like to introduce to the organizer also of this great seminar to Master Frenel Austin, IT Taekwondo president. Thank you, Master Austin, for getting together uh, to all Caribbean m and and to try, like to in, improve all the uh, m and of the Caribbean. Thank you, Master Frenel, this is the time for you. Thank you, Mr. Alex, and uh, good morning, good afternoon to everyone who are here today. It is a great pleasure and uh, as president of the Haiti Taekwondo Federation, living in the Caribbean, we know how challenging it is in the Caribbean Taekwondo. Me and uh, so many other m and uh, in the Caribbean, such as the Bahamas president, uh, Aruba, um, St. Kitts, everybody in general, we are working very hard trying to bring the Taekwondo in the Caribbean. So today it is a great pleasure. And we wanna thank Grandmaster uh, Rick Shen for sponsoring this event. Without his help, this wouldn't be possible. So today he has uh, done his job to help us in the Caribbean. And I want to thank also Masti Katie and Mundo Taekwondo for promoting the event for us. So having said that, once again, thank you all. Thank you, Grandmaster um, Ramen, who's going to be leading the seminars, giving his time. So we appreciate everybody, and we hope that uh, the lesson learned today will be carried on and helping your own countries out with the yes. time you're in your country. So thank you so much. And now please uh, give a chance to, um, I can't see him, um, Mr. Carlos should be here somewhere, but I don't know uh, how to find him. There's a lot of people in the list. So if uh, you can help with that, I think he wants her. Uh, to have a few words to say hello to everybody, please. Thank you. Mr. Alex, are you here? Uh, yes. Mr. Carlos, is able? Can you find him? I'm not, I'm not sure. Sir. Hello, how are you, sir? Oh. Greeting to all. Thank you very much for the invitation. Good luck for everyone, for all participants. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Congratulations for this event. Okay. Thank you, sir. I watching. Thank you. Perfect. Well, being said that, thank you very much again for all those who are joining us through all Mass Taekwondo social media platforms. Thank you again for, for being here, sharing with the protagonists of this great seminar. So I would like to introduce now to Grandmaster Raymond Sue. 
World Taekwondo Pan America Pumse Referee Chair. Chair, thank you, sir, for sharing the, the knowledge here today with us. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Uh, good morning. Good afternoon. Okay. Thank. Uh, first, I like thank uh, WTPA Secretary General Master Rick Shin. Okay, to sponsor this uh, seminar, and also like to thank Haiti Taekwondo Association okay, Master Austin to host the seminar. So this is a short seminar for three hours, but for most of Caribbean countries, this is the first time. Uh, you know, like uh, we are, uh, two are uh, doing some of the seminar, uh, sharing some information and knowledge with you guys. So I know there's a lot of uh, 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 coaches, referees, and athletes. Through this seminar, uh, I think, you know, you will uh, learn a lot of guidelines, okay? And uh, it will help you for your uh, Pumset uh, practice or development for all of you, okay? And also we thank uh, Mas Taekwondo, Mr. Alex for live streaming this. So in case you miss something, you can always go back, uh, you know, to find out the details and practice with, with us. Okay, thank you. If that's okay with you, I would like to bow first. Perfect. So if you're ready at home, please. Let's get ready. Chariot. Kyungye. The floor is yours, Master Sue. Thank you, Alex. Okay, first we're gonna use uh, probably three to five minutes. Uh, some of you already warm up. Uh, I would like you to warm up a little bit in case you didn't. Okay. So uh, my assistant today is my uh, it's uh, Diego. Okay. So Diego, Mr. Diego, gonna do a little bit of warm up with you guys. So if you have a room, okay, if you like to join us to do a, some warm up with us, please do. Okay, Mr. Diego, let's go. Okay, ready? So we're gonna warm up. First, let's start with arm circles to the front. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and roll your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and knee circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now roll your wrist and your ankle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Other ankle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now reach up, feet together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now next, we're gonna squat down. This is one, and then two, you're gonna go up, and then stand up. Okay, we're gonna do that five times. Ready, one, squat down, and two, up. Leg straight, hold it, and back up. That's one, and ready, one, two, hold it, and back up. Ready, three, down, up, hold it, and back up. Ready, four, squat down, up, hold it, and back up. Last one, five, down, and up, and back up. Okay, nice. Now we're gonna squat down to one side, just like this, heels on the ground, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch it. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now make sure you have space. We're gonna go down the middle. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and back. Butterfly, up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and head down. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grab your foot and push your knees straight like this. Ten seconds, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and switch it. Grab your foot and push your knee. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And stand up. Yes, sir. Really kick. Uh, ten jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Next one. Make sure you have space. We're going to touch the ground flat, and then we're going to crawl out and push up. That's one, and back, and up. We're gonna do that five times, okay? So ready, everybody down, and out. Push up, back up. That's one. If you're flexible, keep your feet together, okay? And back down, crawl out, push up, and back. That's two. And back down, push up, and back. That's three, down, crawl out, push up, back. That's four, last one, down, out, <coughs> and push up, and back. Okay, that's a simple warm up. Okay, uh, if you need to warm up later on, uh, you know, uh, do so. And otherwise, we're gonna start uh, with our seminar. Uh, very important. Uh, there's a lot of a basic. Okay, we can explain, but we don't have that much time today. We're gonna focus on uh, choreo, kungang, and Tibet. But of course, all those basic movement involved in these three pungse. We need to explain to you what are the basics, okay? Not only you're the athletes, but also some people, they are the referees. When you are uh, uh, judging this pungse or execute these pungse, you have to follow the guideline. Otherwise, there's a deduction because I'm the uh, referee chair uh, for the patu for pungse. So I would like to share the, some of the judging criteria. It will benefit for the referees and also for the coaches, okay? Uh, for you to teach in the, for coaches, you teach in the, uh, your athletes, you need to know all these guidelines, okay? So you can limit the uh, accuracy and presentation deduction. Uh, as you know, uh, when we do in the accuracy, there's a big mistake and small mistake. Every time there's a big mistake, it's 0 0.3 deduction for your accuracy uh, portion. And if a small mistake, it's a 0 0.1, okay? So uh, when we judge in uh, all the, Hand technique, it's upper body movement. And footwork, lower body movement, uh, it's separate. So if your hand doing a down block, arimaki, okay, and you're making a mistake, the judge will give you point 0.1, a little mistake, give you point 0.1 deduction. If your footwork making a, another little mistake, it's another point 0.1. So the judge will give you point 0.1 plus point 0.1, okay? It's not one move, you only get point 0.1. Okay, we judge upper body movement and lower body movement separately. So if you're the judge, you need to know that. And could be somebody doing a big mistake on, on uh, upper body movement and making a small mistake, lower body movement. So it's 0 0.3 plus 0 0.1, that's 0 0.4, okay? Or, you know, reverse, okay, 0 0.1 and 0 0.3. Or it could be 0 0.3, 0 0.3, okay? So uh, you have to know that, okay? Uh, also, if there, 
we are doing upper body movement, we make several little mistakes, okay? You can only deduct once, point one, okay? If the same thing with the footwork, if you make a several little mistake, we can only deduct point one once. But if you upper, upper body movement, you make a big mistake and make a several little mistake, we only pick the big mistake. We pick 0 0.3 and forget it about all the 0 0.1. Same with the lower body footwork movement. Okay, so as a, a judge, we have to know this. Of course, uh, for the coaches and the athletes, we have to know this as well. Okay, and uh, uh, footwork, okay, they all have a standard. Okay, so if you guys can uh, practice with me together, okay, we are doing a very uh, few moves, okay. All right, so. Feet, uh, when we do the attention, okay, just come wasagi, feet together. Your hand need to make a fist, okay? Thumb, touch your middle finger. Naturally place in the middle, okay? If you have a seam, put it over here. When you bow, okay, your hands need to attach to your thighs. Don't go, some people bow like this. Some people bow like this, or bow like this. All right, so that's a deduction, minor deduction, point one, okay? So make sure, hands here, bow. When we bow, usually 45 degrees is good enough. We're not doing kirogi, we're not doing sparring, nobody gonna kick you. So make sure, bow, look at the floor, and come up, okay? One more time, everybody together, bow, and come back up, okay? So, how do you enter the ring? It's for you, if you are uh, competing for athletes, how do you enter the ring? You, you're from your corner, usually it's right back corner. We set up a chair for the coach. So you bow to the coach and then you can enter the ring diagonally, directly to the spot, okay? That's okay. Or some people wanna go uh, follow the boundary uh, line, okay, boundary line, okay? So if Mr. Diego in that corner, he bow, okay, move back, let's bow to the coach, okay, he turn around, he go directly, go, go, okay, and then turn around, and then walk into the middle. That's acceptable, acceptable too, okay? One more time. And some people choose to bow to the, bow to the back, bow to the front. Uh, really, it's not necessary because you're gonna listen to the coordinator to bow. So those are extra, but if you wanna do it, that's fine. There's no bonus point. No uh, deduction, okay? So if the Mr. Diego will do a bow to the back, okay? Let's go, enter, bow to the coach first, turn around. So he's gonna bow to the back. And then he turn around, bow to the front before he entered his spot, okay? That's fine, okay? Or one more time, go diagonally. So these are all acceptable, okay? So he bow. And then turn around, walk towards to the spot, starting point right away. All right, so these are all acceptable. So you can choose anything you want, okay? All right, so what, while you're walking, that's a presentation point, like your appearance, your energy, your focus. So make sure you need to do that uh, good presentation as well. Okay, now let's talk about the footwork. Moasagi. Okay, and ready, stand. Okay, ready, stands, one foot space. So everything I give it to you is a uh, guideline according to the, your, the, the, le the length of your limb, okay? And then the length of your foot size, your feet size. Okay, you can adjust. Okay, you're gonna look natural. All right, if it's a chichosagi, horse riding stance, two feet apart, okay, you have to squat down. You cannot do this, okay, or cannot turn your toes outward, okay? So this is important, all right? So, of course, you have to do uh, dekubi, back stance. Back stance, it's from behind, one, two, three. All right, you squat down. You see outside, my, outside of my foot, okay, outside my knee, outside my hips, shoulder should be form a line. And then your 70% weight on this rear foot, okay? You cannot put in the middle. All right, that's a little 
final deduction. Or some people, their hips pop out, okay, or knee go like in, okay, those are all deduction, okay? But if you make all of the above, as I mentioned, you can only be deducted once, okay? So that's a back stance, all right? Now from here, we have absolute walking stance. So walking stance, you need to let the foot turn 30 degrees. So here, one, two, three, like this. So the most important things is one, two, three. The front heel and back toes, there's one foot space, okay? Your weight distribution, it's in the middle. So when you move, move forward, the judging look at the heel and toes, there's one foot space. So you don't wanna do too small or too big. If you're doing a little bit too big, you bend your knee, looks like a different stance. That could be a, a it will be a point three deduction. You're doing a wrong stance, okay? All right, now we have a, that's a absolute, okay? Walking stance. Also we have front stance, or some people call forward stance, okay? Akubi. So usually we have a one fist in between when you turn. So four to four and a half. One, two, three, and four. Seventy percent. I'm gonna scoot back. Seventy percent weight in the front. It's just opposite. Okay. Then the back stance. Okay. Back leg straight. Okay. Front front knee. You look down your knee. You're gonna see your toes meet your instep. This part. Okay, don't go all the way cover your toes and go over. That's too much. All right, that become a minor mistake. So watch here. My feet together, that's one foot. Two, three, four. If you're taller, go another half. So 70% leg straight, 30% of fish. Okay, for walking stance, front stance, all 30% angle for the back foot. Okay, then. We have a tiger stance, okay? When we do tiger stance, I'm gonna give you a side view. 30 degree as well. One, two. So you put your heel down, should be perfect. If you just a tap of longer, it's okay. Too long? No, going one deduction. If you're overlapping, when you put your heel, you see, like this, that's a point one deduction, okay? So make sure 90% or more, your weight should be in the, in the back, back foot. Okay, this is very light. So using the ball of your foot, okay, tapping the floor. So a lot of ladies, you're very flexible. And then when you do this bones of the knee, okay, tiger stance, you're doing like almost like a, with your toes. That's a deduction. Make sure the ball, okay? Like table seven, when you do the kick, make sure don't sink your heel, don't drop your heel. When you do the kick, directly kick, all right? If you put your heel down, and you bounce up, that's a deduction, going what? So, okay, by the way, I remind you, maybe you don't know that, okay? So that's take, that's a bone circle. Of course, we have uh, uh, up to us again, okay? Uh, and deep to us again, we don't have deep to us again, we have up, up, up to us again, it's front cross step. When you do cardio, you have front cross step. So when you cross, make sure, when you cross, you pivot. So pivot a little bit, okay? 30 to 45 degrees, all okay. In between of your feet, it's one fist distance or the instep width, okay? So here, put your weight down, okay? That's up cross again, front cross step. Okay, the last one we're gonna uh, cover, it's uh, one of the very important stance uh, in the kunga, hakdari sogi, hakdari sogi. Oh no, I'm sorry. Akdari sagi is crane stance, like a crane, okay? So when we do crane stance, you have to bring the inside of your, inside part of your foot and touch the side part of your knee, okay? And your toes need to be relaxed, not going down, not going up. Same like you're doing table seven. And then this one, you have to squat down. So how low, just like you're doing Horse riding stance, chuchun sugi. So if chuchun sugi like this, your crane stance should be the same, like this, okay? This bar should be straight. Some people take it easy, go like this way. The judges can tell this is a tilt. So it's a deduction, so make sure here. And my supporting foot need to point to the front, okay? And this one, toes, I remember.
mention, okay, relax. Okay, if you open up, that's a minor mistake. Okay, you're putting too low, too high, it's a deduction. If this foot cook it, also a deduction. All right, so later on when we uh, touch the Kunga, uh, uh, we will talk about the details of this Hakkari uh, Sami, crane stance. Okay, so these are the stances I'm gonna cover right now. So make sure if you have a question, you can go, uh, you know, find a, find a video, okay, find the clips and then go back and check. Now we're gonna talk about the hand techniques, okay? So, okay, we have a two hands, upper body movement. It doesn't matter strike, doesn't matter block, okay? All right, we have to use two arms. You cannot just do one arm. If you do one arm motion, it's a deduction every move. Like the little kids, they don't know whom say too well. They go, they go like take one, they go like this one hand. One, two, three, four. They're missing the assistant arm. So that's the point one of every move. So don't do that. You have two arms. You have to utilize two arms because once you use two arms motion, it will help you engage with your hips and waist. So if I'm doing, but every movement, we have a guideline. So if I'm gonna do that, my hands are not gonna be here. Hammer fist over here, elbow down, okay? So down, down block. So this is my blocking arm. What about my assisting or supporting arm? You need to be across, a little bit in the middle, it's okay. But usually we prefer cross. Palm down. Everything we have to have a rotation, the supporting arm. Okay, back, see? When I come, palm down, I come back, my palm up, that's a rotation. Some people are doing this palm up, do palm up, there is no rotation. So this, this part is point one deduction. All right, so we have two arms. Let me be clear. We have a starting point here, shoulder. So rotation here at the end, rotate. A lot of people doing like this, very casually. So that's a deduction because you didn't rotate. So starting point at your blocking arm, end point. Okay, not outside, not inside. Your wrist cannot be twist in, twist out. So this is end point, about two fists. Or one hand spin away from your thigh. So that's down block, arimaki. So assistant arm, I already told you this way. So you have a starting point, end point, starting point, end point, like four points. All has to be correct. Okay, in order not to get point one deduction. If any point, okay, you're doing wrong, see, I'm not twisting, not, in, not using my hammer fist, and, and I'm going too far, and this arm, I palm up, when I go back, I'm elbow not tugging in. Even four points are making mistakes. It's only point one, as I mentioned. Okay, you can deduct once. So this is down block. If you're going for high block and going outside block, so the assisting arm position is different. Like I said, if I'm going outside block with the fist, this hand, see, it's not the hammer fist. It's the, I call the eye of the fist. Also people call thumb part. Here, see my hand, okay? Like a choreo, uh, like kunga, a choreo, I'm sorry, choreo. With a single knife hand side, outside block. So this hand need to pick up to shoulder and out. This hand need to go here, come back. But if your hands not turning the right spot, it's a point one deduction. And never elbow up. The elbow always down. Okay. So a high block. Same thing when you do kunga, kunga maki. Same. Okay. This this hand it's a down block. This is high. So down block you already know. Down block, side down block. This is a high block. Okay. So this way. You have to know what purpose, what kind of block in order before you set up, okay? You set up the move, you have to do it correctly. Otherwise, as a judge, you have to catch the mistake as, uh, as an athlete, you have to do it correctly. So these are the basic hand technique. Later we'll explain more at each fungsi, okay? Now we're gonna bring Mr. Diego out. We're gonna explain the kicks. 
So in Taekwondo, uh, I mean, in the Punse, we usually have, uh, you know, three basic kicks and also we have some crescent kick. Okay, we call Pyocho. Pyocho is a target, target kick. Okay, so here. So first we do front kick. There are a lot of front kicks, up channel. So all the hands should be tugging in. You can tug it in on your chest, on your tummy, cross a little bit, as long as while you're kicking, don't swing your arm up, don't swing down, don't open up, that's fine. Anytime your hand's not there, okay? Obvious, you can see the hand technique, it's open, uh, hand motion will open up, down, it's going one deduction. So relax, okay? All right, so Mr. Diego gonna do a front kick, okay? We're gonna do the side, side with left, left or right. Right, okay. You have to do one chambering, okay? All the kicks, chamber. Chamber must pick it up. Two, execution, extension, okay? When you do extension, you see this knee and this knee should be straight, okay? If you kick, bend this knee, that's a deduction. If you, some people, most people will bend that knee. That's a deduction. So if you bend both knees, still point one deduction, okay? So, Toes up. We want to see the ball, not the toes. It doesn't matter how good you kick, but you point your toes. Okay, that's a point one deduction. Okay, here. And you're going to see the ankle straight, not a hook. See, that's point one deduction. All right, this one. After you kick, read chamber, pick and choose a spot to land. All right. So the rotation of supporting foot, natural. There's no set angle, okay? Just natural, okay? So some people kick really, really high, but they hook their ankle. That's a point one deduction, all right? If you kick sky high, right above you, most likely your heel will be out, okay? That's a deduction, all right? Next one, okay? We are doing roundhouse kick, okay? Even though it's not in the one of those three forms, but I need to let you know because it's, there's a, a guideline change. Most of you don't know. Okay, so facing them. Okay, hand check the hand position the same thing. Okay, one chamber. Okay, chamber. The supporting foot make sure while kicking need to turn opposite 180. Two extension. All right. See, you have to pass the middle one. Before it's all the one line. Okay, okay right now you have to pass the middle line. Okay, and then you can use in step. Use in step is okay. Using the ball, also okay. After kick, we chamber and pick and choose. Okay, so right now I'm gonna get a one stick. Mr. Diego gonna face the face that. So you see a, a scoop to the side. You see the, the pink stick. So while he's kicking, his foot need to pass. All right, right foot. All right, go to kick on the left side, okay? Pass the line, go. And then one more time. Are you aiming? Okay, kick. Okay, so. This is what we need to do, okay? So everybody knows Teku Yukja, Teku Six, they have two roundhouse kick, all right? So right now, if you kick straight, that's a point one deduction. You cannot do that, you have to pass, okay? All right, now. Okay. Now, next one, okay? We are doing round, uh, uh, side kick. Okay, doing side kick. All the side kick, the hand technique is different. We'll explain later, okay? Uh, but right now, basically, same, okay? Unless uh, uh, later on, we'll let you know, okay? All right, so side kick, same. One, chamber. See, you have to have this process. Chamber your knee, okay? Some, some people just directly, just don't chamber, just kick. That's not a side kick. You didn't prep correctly. If you don't prep, but still like a look like a side kick will give you a point one deduction. If somebody kick like a wrong round kick, like except you turn your toe, go. 
This is no, just like psychic position. So, right. That's like a roundhouse kick. The referee will give you point three in that shoe. Well, make sure you have to chamber your knee. Okay. So one. Okay, chamber. Two, execution. Okay. So here, heel. We need to see the heel. Okay, that's a correct one. Okay, and then rechamber and put it down. So if we see the blade, or see the toes, or the bottom, that's a point one deduction. Only heel. So somebody really, really flexible, they keep sky high. But that's the bottom of foot. All right, so you have to pick and choose. Maybe you get better presentation, but you probably gonna lose point one for the, you know, the letting referee see the, the bottom of the foot. Should be here, okay? So these three kicks, basically like this. But most important things you need to know is eye spotting. Where are you gonna look, okay? Before, we say you cannot lift your head, you can only look in front of you, okay? Otherwise, it's a deduction. But right now, the guideline change. If you kick sky high, you need to lift your chin and look at your foot, okay? Look at your foot. It doesn't matter side kick, roundhouse kick, or front kick. If you don't look, okay, it's point three deduction. But people ask, what about you moving your chin? It's okay, you move your chin. All right, so I'm gonna show you if Mr. Diego do a side kick. A lot of people, they can do good side kick, but they cannot look, do sideways. Yes. When you kick, tuck your chin in, you just don't look. Go. Extension, right? With your legs. You see? Turn and look. You see, this is a look. Okay, if high, it has a look. If some people just tuck the chin in, okay, still try to look, but you cannot see, only see his hair. But that's a deduction point three, especially like choreo A lot of time, you know. The referee need to catch that. All right. So these are uh, the foot technique you have to you have to understand. Okay. All right. So now let's move back a little bit. Okay. After I cover these, okay, basic uh, information. Of course, there are a lot of basic information, but now uh, because of time issue, we need to uh, move on to our first pumse pumse. Choreo, uh, okay. Home say choreo. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do step by step, slow. Okay, you guys, everybody. Uh, first, first time you can watch us. Okay, the second time I want you guys to practice with us. Then I will explain. Okay, uh, during the during the middle. Okay, all right. Don't milky. Okay, after you bow. Okay, all the jumbi sugi. Okay, we have four different jumbi sugi. Basic jumbi sugi, okay? Even jumbi sugi, okay? And we have don't milky, don't milky, okay? So all five seconds, all right? We have five seconds and eight seconds, slow motion, okay? We have a guideline. If five seconds, you can do plus or minus a second, okay? Four to six seconds, it's all okay, okay? But if you're doing less than four seconds, one second, two seconds, three seconds, point one deduction. And presentation also gonna get deduction of your speed, first category, power and speed, speed's not good. If you're doing too long, the same way, okay? So how do we do don't milk? Okay, your hands, okay, follow me, okay? The hands, not gonna swing up. Some people are gonna go out and swing and then here. That's a deduction. Your hands need to go directly in front of your thigh. And when you move your feet, you cannot just step, your hand not moving. That's a deduction. So you have to together, when you step out, move your head and up like you're scooping water and go in front of your face. Corner of your nose, face wide. Come, not out, not in. Okay, so again, all right. To be, same time, two, three, four, five. Inhale, usually I recommend first three seconds, inhale. The, the fourth and fifth seconds, exhale. One more time. Jimbi. One, two, three, four, five. Elbow always down, okay? All right, 
One thing you have to know, all right, relax. One thing you have to know, when you do this, competing, referee are sitting down. So, corner of your nose, it's good. If you go into the big tournament, the center stage set at the podium, very, very high. Referee might sit down, okay? Their chairs are below, it's, it's, it's on the ground level, not on the podium. So you need to experience, uh, experience athletes need to adjust the height. Because if you go to regular at the corner of your nose, the referee might see it's above your eyes. So you have to be smart, okay? By using, you, you need to see the situation, okay? Now, after you do this, okay, move by move, okay? We're doing Han Suno, okay? Double knife hand, okay? What we're gonna do is you have to have a circular motion. You have a two hands with a different speed. If you're doing, if you, a lot of people, like little kids, they don't know what's going on. They go like this. You're missing this part. If you're missing this part, volume of the movement is not correct. In the third category of presentation, expression of energy that includes volume of the movement, you will get deduction, okay? But if you just a little bit, we just did that on presentation. But if you totally missed it, accuracy also get 0.1 deduction. So make sure when you practice up to your shoulder, this hand across the tip of your nose, semicircle, and drop it down. Your fingertip has to be shoulder high, okay? So up, across, here, this is your left hand. Right hand just simply come over across. See, my hand is straight. The line of my wrist aligned with my solo plexus, half inch. Usually you stick in the thickness of your, your palm, okay? I will say half inch, but shoulder straight, relax. Looks very awkward, okay? All right, so uh, who's controlling this? I cannot see myself. I'm, see, I'm seeing somebody else. I'm seeing Michael Morris. The, 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 the spotting is a miss. Who, who's doing? No, no, I only see you. I, I cannot see myself. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> Mr. Alex. Okay. Can you All right. Me? So, okay. Okay, they got it. Okay. All right. So, when you pick up this arm, shoulder high, not this high, that's a deduction, okay? So here, one to your shoulder, across, together. That's how you're gonna do it, very important, okay? Up, together. So you have to be patient, wait. Relax all the hand technique, slow, accelerate, okay? And then this angle's 90 to 120, okay? But usually we prefer, instead of here, we prefer you do 120, wrist straight, wrist shoulder high, this hand up, across, when you drop it down, finger shoulder high, angle 90 to 120, okay? Not like this, this is a deduction. How can you block from here to here? This is a blocking tool. All right, so very important. So let's practice together, okay? So ready? All right, set up, okay? One, up, together, okay? Now, second one, double side kick. And tuck it in, the first kick has to be a knee high, your knee high. When you do the first kick, your foot not supposed to turn all the way to, to 180. Okay, so Mr. Diego, do a demonstration. Slow, we're gonna do slow. Two, tuck your hands in, one, one, two, and set up your arm, bam, bam. Let's go back a little bit. Okay, again. Okay, watch all the details. Let's go back a little bit more. After you double side kick, we chamber, set up your arm. Okay, all right. Before you kick, tuck your hands in, prepare. Okay, go, tuck it in, one, okay. Da, da, and then, bam, bam. Okay, let's go back. All right, so two side kicks. Hold up, repeat side kick. The first one at your knee, second one, of course, you have to kick at your face, okay, or higher. 
So this is considered, we don't want to say one more. It's in the group. In the book, it's yeah, under but if somebody just raised the knee, doesn't do the kick, it will be point three first kick. The first kick, right? Just right, first one, not even kick, just pick up. That's mid all right. So after you have to do down block. This is next strike, all right? Here, see my head, okay? At your shoulder, not higher, not outside, but shoulder, just like you do down block. The blade, you don't need to touch, but if you don't know, lightly touch, it's okay. Strike at your neck high, middle punch, okay? One, two, three. Okay, so make sure there's a two movement. Each movement you have to do the same, same intensity. A lot of people, because there are two movement, they, they are weaken the first one. They just do fast. All right, so if they are doing that, not locking, it's point one. If they're missing, it's point three because they are missing move. So when you do this move, lock, lock. Usually you do one, two. You pass too long. It's a presentation problem. So you're gonna shorten the rest time. Okay? One, two, finish. Okay? So one more time. Ready? Go. Bang, bang. One more time. The first kick too high. Okay, let's go back to right. You don't need to go kick too high. Go. Set up on, down, down, and then down, down. So when you do the striking and your footwork is supposed to be the same path, but right now we're practicing, okay? On the other side, all right. Oh, I'm not finished yet. Okay, here, punch. It's gonna do number three move. This is important. Let's move to your left. So footwork, arm work, same time. So your hand, prepare, same. Wrist to shoulder high, 90 to 120. Leave the hand there. Wait until your hand almost, almost strike here and retract this hand and same time move your foot, okay? Move your stance together, okay? A lot of people, they are doing this first, then do this one. It's not the timing, timing is not right, also 41 deduction, okay? All right, watch too slow, go together, bump, okay? Do a regular speed. Go, stop. You see here, here, here. Okay, block, tuck it in, and footwork at the same time. Okay, so very important. All right, now do the other side, slow. Okay, so here, set up, double knife in, go, spin, down. All right, when you spin to the other side, make sure you're not using the heel turn. No double motion. Later we'll show you. Okay, ready? Double knife. Okay, same thing. Fingertip, shoulder high. And this is a fist. Shoulder high. All right, so you need to do adjustment. Tug it in, hands in. Knee, okay, side go. And then, down, down. Okay, and set up. The other hand, go, stop. Okay, so this is the first section. Okay, so let's practice together with the Diego, Mr. Diego. We are doing a little bit slower so you can view, you can pay attention to all the details, all the details. And of course, this time, we don't ask you to put your feet, uh, footwork and arm work together. You can do a little bit slower so you can, like this, if I'm going here, I'm doing one, I set on my arm, Usually I recommend if you are, uh, you know, doing some housekeeping or doing clean up your, your detail, set check. Is all the movement, is all the, my, uh, my hand techniques good? Okay, then two, I squat down, 
do my footwork, then circular. But then next one, okay? Am I doing right with my head? And I doing my right bump, down, set up, bump, bump. And am I doing correct set up? Okay, I can do my footwork first. If I'm not very good, and to get it. Okay, when I pivot within the ball, not the heel, turn the other way, doing the numbers four move. Okay, so Mr. Diego, let's do the four, the, the first section. Okay, don't milky, okay? Make sure to do it correctly. To be it. Two, three, four, five. Okay, nice and slow, okay? One, set up your arm, set up your foot, and slowly circular motion down. At this time, you don't need to do a lot of, no, lot of tension. Another thing is this hand, like Mr. Diego. He's putting this hand, this is his comfort zone. A lot of top athletes, when they do this move, this hand is too close to the back. They go like this. Maybe they have a longer arm. But I'm sorry, your solo plexus is here, right? So you need to move your hands here. Okay, so the, if you do this, it's close to your belt. Even you feel very comfortable. But sorry, the referee gonna give you deduction. All right, next one. Take your arms in. Okay, the first kick a little bit lower. Double side kick. Okay, slowly go down, pivot and set up your arm. Down, down. Okay, and next move. Pick up your arm. Get ready. Do your foot first. Okay, bring your foot back. Set correctly. Then slowly bring your hand up. Okay, that's first three move. Then now you need to pay attention. How do we pivot with this part, the ball of the foot, and turn around? Set up your arm. Okay, and go do your arm uh, foot first circular motion. Bam. Next one. Tuck your arms in. Double side kick, make sure the first kick, you don't need to kick too hard, okay? Just knee high, go. Stop, stop, set up your arm, bang, bang. If you have a hard, if you have a hard time, keep your balance, set up your footwork first. Then you can check your arm because sometimes your balance is wobbling, it's very hard, okay? Now, pick up the other arm and, and set up your footwork. Go, stop. All right, relax. So we cover this part, okay? There's a lot of, lot of information. Make sure each detail, you have to do it correctly, okay? All right, so right now we're gonna do a few more times, continue mo motion, okay? So ready? Jibir! Okay. Ha! Okay. Do. Set. So this is not full full speed. Okay, we're still doing good timing, but relax a little bit. Okay, set up. Hold up. Set up your arm. Do. Stop. Stop. Set. All right. Pardon. Come back. All right. Relax. All right. Again. Okay. To me. Anna. Do. Set. Anna! Do! Set! All right, relax. Okay, here you have it. Okay, so these are the first four moves, the uh, first six moves, okay? But this is, you know, just like I share with you how you're gonna practice and make it better, okay? Now we're gonna add the Flare, okay, just like you dance, you sing, you need to add a flare. You cannot just do it robotically. All right, if you just like uh, 
Know the forms, you do robotically, it's okay, but you wanna do the competition. Remember, it's not only accuracy, we have a presentation. Your performance need to bring out the flair, let the referee recognize. All right, this is a good form with the power speed, with the rhythm, tempo, and also expression of energy, how you bring yourself up. And also uh, expression of energy, including the volume of the movement, the circular mo movement. All right, so this is very important. So how are we gonna link them together? So if there's before, uh, if the first move always usually, it's a defensive move, okay? Defensive move, as I mentioned earlier, when you set up, don't tense, tense yourself up. If you tense yourself up, your movement become a very, very short. I, I call my student doing that like T-Rack arms. They go like this, okay? T-Rack, that become a T-Rack, okay? So you have to be relaxed. So relax with a good angle, good position. When you're doing the motion, relax because a lot of movement involve the circular, circular mo motion. So you up powers at the end, okay? So once you settle this first move, then you have attacking movement like this form, okay, for you. Then you have four movement, double side kick, knife head strike, and punch. So you have four movement. So those, those four movement need to link them together consecutively. We don't want to say fast. That means you bam, 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 bam. Okay, not gonna do one, two, three, four, like you're doing blocking motion, okay? So that's the difference, okay? So once you do set up, go into the double side kick, you need to move on right away. You cannot do one and double side, one, two, and pause. Some people pause, try to get the balance. That's the time referee said, oh, this guy, maybe a lot of power, but wins, it's recovery time by, uh, from kicking. Okay, not good. So he has a balance issue. He's not a better player, okay? So, all right, so Mr. Diego gonna link them together, okay? To be. So you guys can watch the first time. We're gonna do two, three times, okay? All right. Okay, first, free move, okay? So after double knight hand uh, side block, then he's gonna engage double side kick and knight hand strike and punch. Okay, and slow down and middle block. Go. All right, again, can you make it a little bit like you compete? Yeah. Right now, it's no more practice. It's like you're competing. Everybody's referee, okay, in the world championship. Ready? Jump in. All right, the first three moves, okay, link them together. Go. Da. 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 And then immediate. Da. Da. And slow. Ba. And the other side too. Da, 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 da. And then da, da. slow. Okay, relax. Okay, thank you. So, so this is here you have it. So this is if you are good, you reach reach to a certain level. You need to put the power speed, rhythm, tempo, express uh, expression of energy and volume of movement together. But if you're not reached that level, you're still working on your basic. Don't. Otherwise, you're gonna mess up the form. Some people, they're basic, not good. They're trying to do rhythm tempo and a whole mess, all right? So don't do that. Of course, my recommendation is you have to go through the robotic stage. If you, are, you know your form well, okay, you need, to, you need to do like robotic first. Then you understand, okay, link them together, okay? Then better, you're gonna become a better athlete. And also right now, nowadays we, we did a lot of, uh, online championships. You can, uh, you know, watch all these uh, video clips and then you see all these uh, medalists, okay? Even some of them are not medalists, but they're still very good, okay? Yes, yeah, so watch them and then learn from them, okay? All right, now we're gonna continue. So the second part, okay? We're gonna do Suno Aremaki, knife hand down block. So in this audio, we have 11 times you have to use this hand rotation. Remember, we are doing side strike on the two, and then we have three times. Down block, Kajabi, arc hand. Arc hand, I'm gonna go closer. All days, we are doing Akuison. It's okay, it's, we squeeze, we try to attack the, your throat. But right now, we don't do that, it's old style. Some people go like this, some old master maybe go like this, but we don't do that anymore. So usually, we call this arc, arc hand, like this you lock your thumb a little bit, okay? So this arc hand, how high? Your throat, okay? Your throat high. 
Don't go too high. Same like you're doing this. Okay, your throw is good enough. So we are doing down dog. Okay, Arimaki down, this hand here, and bring it back. So once you do this, oh, you have two motion. One, and you need to pull this hand back in order to accelerate this. See my shoulder. If a lot of people, they don't engage their waist. They are doing this, see, straight. See my shoulder not moving. You're only using arm movement. Even you're doing correctly. Accuracy is good, no problem. Presentation, no good. You're not involved with the hip motion. So when I do this, I usually recommend you turn your body, okay, 30 degree, don't over rotate. Okay, once you do down block, okay, and twist, you're gonna go out a little bit 30 degree. Okay, so this is this is how I recommend you to do that. Okay, and and then how far, just like regular down block, two fist distance will be good. A lot of people doing this is too far away. Okay, that's a deduction. One, two. Okay, and when you do kicking, make sure the hand tuck it in. Okay, same time. When you kick, you pull, ba, down, down, and pull, down, ki ha. Okay, of course, the challenge is if you're not flexible, your knee will bend while you're kicking, your knee bend. Okay, that's a deduction. And some people, when they're kicking, the heel will up. Okay, you need to rotate, rotate with the ball but try to keep your heel down. If you kick with the heels up, it's a deduction too. All right, so Mr. Diego do a demonstration, do this sideway and do a kicking uh, switch, okay? While he's kicking, watch his, this foot, okay? Do a heel up, okay, heel up, go. Okay, again, go. Okay, so if your heel's up, We'll give you deduction, don't do that, okay? All right, so let's practice this part. Okay, ready? From this position, right? Is it this one? Okay, ready? Common mistake, we'll pick up the heel, okay? Do a heel up. Go to where you turn, set a down, knife and down ball. Right, don't do that. Or some people will use the heel turn. Okay, turn with the heel, go. All right, he's exaggerating, but occasionally, this, these are for the referee, okay? So do slow, set up your arm, okay? And set up your foot, the front stance. Go, one, two, all right? Now, arms in first, go, kick, arm, Two, let's go back a little bit. And tuck your arms in, go, make sure key hop, down, back. Right, so right now we are not doing the same timing. Otherwise, like him, he kicked, he landed, then arm, then block, a different timing. That's a deduction point one. Presentation, rhythm, tempo also get deduction. You have to do same time, bam. But we'll talk about later, okay? So. Couple more times, start from here. All right, ready, set up, okay. Set up your foot first and down block, two fist distance, call JB, go. Do the throw, your throw. Make sure, okay, when you do call JB, just like you punch, directly from here, boom. Some people go like a snake or they will hit and then bounce. That's a deduction, all right? So in order not to do that, what are we gonna do? From your wrist to elbow, rubbing, okay? Don't go out too fast. At the end, this, at the end, twist. Don't go out too fast. This, all right, make sure from here to here, stay at your waist. At the end, okay, very important. Okay, ready? Next one, go. Kick, ta, ta. Let's go back, please. All right, and then go. Ta, ta, ta. Okay, relax. So make sure, of course, I told you you need to look, but if you right now, you cannot, you cannot, you, you'd be trained looking at the front. You can kick really, really high. You need to uh, practice. 
try to look, okay, without dramatically bobbing your head, okay? If you're during the punte, the movement, you bobbing your head, it's a deduction, all right? Okay, again, this time we do a little bit, uh, same, same speed, but do a little bit more uh, timing, coordin coordination order to get. Ready? Hana! Da, da, do! Kick, da, da, set, da, da, kick. All right, very good. Okay, so we practice this part. How are we gonna put it together with the rhythm, uh, the good, good, you know, like a good presentation? There's a different way for people to do that because usually you say one, you say, especially so you say if there's a attacking movement, it doesn't matter what hand technique, foot technique, you're gonna link them together. You don't want to rest too much. But this in this poem say there's two different ways people are doing it, present that. One is they do one, two, right? Then they kick one, bang, bang, then kick, bang, bang, ki ha. It's okay to do that. But some of the athletes say, hey, my the kick has to be really, 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 really good after I'm I'm doing the arc hand. So they might just do this. Hey, they do bang, 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 bang. Okay, you know what I'm talking about, right? Okay, so ready? Link them together. So it's up to you which way you're gonna uh, you're gonna do. Okay, so he's gonna do the full ball. Okay, all right, go. Down, down. But so what he did is when you do a knife hand down block, arc hand immediately you kick. Okay. All right, so one more time. Let's go back a little bit to cover. Ready? Chi, stop, stop, stop. Fun. All right, relax. So here you have it. All right, so you can choose whatever. Of course, the way how he he uh, how he did it, it's a little bit more challenge. And then instead of bang bang, kick bang bang, kick bang bang. That's a little bit easier. Okay, but it's up to you. All right, we're gonna move on. So from here, you key up, okay? Okay, so the next one is very important because it involves bigger uh, circular motion. So this one we call knee breaking, Buddha cookie. So when we kick, same hand. After we kick, bang, this hand need to try to grab somebody's ankle. This hand need to, from here, go to my armpit. When I land it, same time, bang, in the middle of the line. So my hand and my elbow in between, there's a space, like an invisible foot. I'm grabbing somebody. But even though I'm grabbing somebody, you see here is too far away. Should be from this side, like a down block, two fist distance. Okay, in the reality, you grab somebody's leg, you might lean forward. But this one, because you're doing punse, you're not supposed to lean forward. So you should be straight like this and keep this in the middle and two fists distance away. So how are we gonna do this part? So we're gonna practice together because this is the hard part. So before we do our footwork, okay? So this is, oh, let me show you what's going on. So we're gonna do opposite. If he's kicking me, I try to scoop up, grab his ankle. Okay, and this hand right over here, okay, I hyperextend, like this hyperextend, make him fall, then I can do other self-defense. Okay, so this application, you see? So you should have a space. So this hand should never be at your armpit, should be around your elbow, okay? Not too close, not touching, that's a deduction point one. Okay, all right, so this one, you're scrapping somebody, okay? I try to hyperextend your knee. So when we practice this move, okay? So usually left and right. So when we do relax this hand, you open up because you're doing this, right? So we are doing scooping up, okay? Right here, here, right? So what we're gonna do is this hand, don't go outside of your body line. Here, I go up, I grab this like scooping up. Okay, so you just practice because of the circular motion, make it more difficult challenge. This hand, 
while you're doing this, this hand needs to come up to you. Oh, don't raise your shoulder close to your armpit or mid ribs and go over this way. So without footwork, okay, usually I'm teaching three steps. Okay, the three counts. One, two, three. And relax. Okay, one, two, three. Just need to bring it back. Okay, one, two, three. When you familiarize with this movement, then you're gonna reduce the two counts. So while you're scoop, scoop, uh, scooping up your right hand, this hand needs to come up. One, two, make it easier. One, same time, two. One, two, one, two. It takes practice, otherwise you, you'll become a robot. Of course, I already told you, from ro robotic stage to smooth stage, takes, takes practice, muscle memories. And then of course, once you go this, you have to synchronize with your footwork. So how are we gonna do the footwork? So once we're doing this, and in, we kick, you don't have to kick high in order to do that. This time, in reach chamber, your hand needs to get ready. See? Up, bang, together. Check everything in the middle, two fist distance. All right, looking up, look, it looks straight. So this is how you're gonna practice. So this part, you have a left and right, so you need to practice. All right, so again, so we are doing this. I get in, kick, set up, up, two. Okay? That's how you're gonna do this part. So make sure you practice, all right? So we only practice a couple of times. Okay, one more time, okay? Because we have limited time, okay? So we are doing this. So next one, and in, kick, set up, Anna, two. Okay, of course, if you do continues, there's no time for you to do to wait. So you kick immediately, bam, together. Of course, this recovery time, if you take too much time, your presentation not as good as the other athletes, they can, they can do it real good, all right? So after this move, next move, okay, your right hand's under. So you don't switch hand. If you switch hand, it's a deduction. Right hand, okay, like you do kung on the first move, left hand outside, because it's right hand outside, pick it up. Don't go like this, because this is a preparation preparation at your shoulder high, your knuckle, knuckles, shoulder high, okay? And relax your shoulder. Again, up, common mistake, double motion. You move this foot, then you turn. It makes it easier, but that's double motion. You get point one deduction. It interferes, if it interferes your rhythm, your rhythm tempo, your rhythm tempo is gonna get get scored down as well. So if I'm here, you need to practice, move forward, and using the momentum, when you push forward, pivot with the ball of your foot, okay? So this is important. So your hands are like this. Set up your hand, make sure don't do double motion, okay? Give it a little bit of push. Bam, together, if I'm doing this way, okay? Okay? Set up my arm and push down. When I step together, so that's this part. Then the other side, same thing. Kick, set up, bam, together. And since your left hand is already underneath, set up, turn your body 30 degree, engage your hips, bam, shoulder high. Cross, uncross. Some people doing like this. Okay, this is just like table seven. Outside block, but this is your inner wrist. If Mr. Diego choked me, I can do this, I can do this. It depends which way, which technique. So it's double inner wrist, okay, push block, okay? So, all right, so Mr. Diego, we're gonna cover this section, okay? So ready, okay? So we do slow. Everybody follow us, please. All right, tuck your hands in, front kick, Set up your arm, one, two, stop. Okay, if you have a trouble, you can set up your foot first. Okay, next one. All right, set up your arm, knuckle, shoulder high. Okay, give yourself a little push. Make sure turn, no double motion, okay? Go, stop. All right, move forward. 
over. And now cross your arm. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, kick. Go. Kick. Same one, two. And set up. Go. Stop. All right. Again. Then we'll do the other direction so you can see both. Okay. Still slow. Set up your arm. Go. One. Set up arm. One. Stop. Set up your arm. One. Hana. Two. Okay. Hana. Go. Kick. Stop. Hana. Set up your arm. Two. Okay. Now we are doing opposite side. Okay. So you're doing this way. Okay. All right. Set up your arm. Go. Kick. Stop. Set up your arm. Two. All right. Set up your arm. Two. Set up your arm. Two. Okay, got it. So one more time, last time. No facing front. Now we put everything together, okay? All right, so you guys can, if you can do, uh, would explain the uh, presentation part, okay? So if you can do all these together, then, okay, we just add, add the connection, okay? Hi! Okay, immediately. Stop! Hi! No! Hi! All right, relax. One more time. <laughs> okay. Go. Kick. Go. Hi. Go. Show. So when he's doing double outside block, you see the wrist on uh, the top of knuckle should be shoulder high. The referee cannot see it. If you see this too hard, you know it's a deduction. Okay. So make sure you know that. Okay. All right. So. Uh, this part, when you execute continuous move, it's very, very quick, okay? But when you practice, it takes a lot of time because there's involved weird, because it's not out of normal circular motion because you have to scoop up, grabbing somebody's leg, and then the other hand has to go a little bit like a motion, okay, with circular motion. So makes two hands all have a circular motion, the volume of movement. Make this, these few moves more challenge. So make sure you have to practice really, really good. Okay, in order to, uh, to uh, you know, uh, better your forms, okay? Now we're gonna continue. Next one, when we do this, okay? So we need to turn 100, uh, 270 in order to, let me see which direction. So where are we supposed to be here, right? Okay, so we kick, 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 here. Here, right? Now. So watch me, this is also involved double motion. I'm gonna show you this, this one, all right? So you can see. We are doing walking stance right now. So when we turn one, a 270, should, should be using the ball of the foot. Turn, spin, back. Okay, spot on that way. Okay, but a lot of people, what they do is the same thing. One, two, that's double motion. Anytime you do double motion, it's going one deduction. Not, okay, the, rep, the judges will give you deduction. So that makes very important. You are doing this way, okay? So you pivot, oh, sorry, this way. Here, you pivot, bam, okay? So your hand, same time. This is outside, single knife hand, outside block, side block. So you see the hand should be here. See, this hand, the thumb. Thumb part, circular, side. The difference between you are doing Jachonsu horse riding stance. Everything, you see my hand, one line. Chest, my hand. If I'm doing back stance, this has a little angle. You see? Okay? Not like this. This is wrong. If you see my stance, this is Dikubi. Dikubi, the hand needs to have a little angle. You're using from here to elbow to block. If this Jachonsu, like choreo, like table seven, chijang, should be straight. All right, so that's the difference. 
If you're judges, you need to know the difference. Same, everybody, okay? All right. So when we turn around, one, two. So this hand, simply you turn your wrist. You are not moving your elbow. If you're moving your elbow, that's a deduction. Turn your wrist. This hand, same time, strike. Strike, okay? Pyocho jirugi. Pyocho is target strike. When you do target strike, your footwork don't change. Your body twists a little bit. So you see my right arm, that's a straight. Okay, this arm just turn, okay? Turn, strike, same time. Bam, together. Solo plexus line. Some people doing too high, deduction. You two in the neck and chin, point one. You go to the face, point three, all right? So this is the, this part, if you're doing any blocking movement, supposed to be montal, middle. Middle should be here. If you go to neck or chin, point one. You go to the face, you cross the line. That's a big mistake, all right? So this one, I go one, two, okay? When we strike this hand, don't split open. You open deduction, thumbs up, deduction. Wrapping, grabbing. Point one deduction. If you do all three big, three small mistakes, we only did that once. So your anytime you striking, it's your palm, not your finger. So make sure it's hitting at your palm. Okay. So if you miss hit, don't boom point one. If you totally don't hit it, usually it won't happen. Okay. If you miss the target completely, it's point three. Okay. So this is should be linked together usually it's like one, two, all right? But if you're not having, you don't have a good foundation, don't do that, okay? But if you wanna do a better presentation, that's, we recommend you to do that, okay? A lot of people doing this is here. This hand, go outside, go too high, you should be exactly here. And this hand, they are gonna do fast, they usually, the angle is not right, okay? So you have to do right, right angle, then hit, okay? So this is important. Then next one, you're gonna do up cross again, front cross step. The hand leads there. When you cross, remember, pivot, okay? Pivot. So some people wanna kick high. So they try to cross bigger. They will rather sacrifice point one deduction so they can kick higher, gain more presentation point. Okay, that's your choice on both sides. But don't do walking steps. Some people, they don't know too well, they start going like this. This is like walking steps, it's totally wrong. It's 0.3 deduction, so please don't do that, okay? So one, two, and then next one, cross. When you do the kick, this part I'm gonna explain more because it's more important. When you do your side kick, pick up your knee, okay? And while you're kicking, same time, extension. Okay, your hand, you see my hand? It's here, a small hinge, like a door, small hinge. You see like this. Not here, this is Kunga, okay? If you do this, it's a big mistake, okay? You have to do this. But a lot of people, they don't do this. There's a two way, a three ways, they will get point one, a point three deduction. One is, they think this is like a regular front kick. They bring their hands here, it's point three deduction. If they are going open up, point three deduction. Or I'm kicking, Left side, my hands should be right side, opposite. If they are doing this side, all right, they're kicking this way, it's 0.3 deduction. Those three scenarios, it's a big mistake. But you say, hey, what if, what if some people do, will be doing this? See, this is a palm, this is a fist. You say one hand correct, one hand not correct. That's 0.1 deduction, all right? Or some people, this hand here, this hand here, 0.1 deduction. It's even some people doing this push, this hand close to here, all right, it's point one deduction. Even one hand is not away, it's away, okay? Or some people this way, they push. But if you wanna push, I recommend use wrist to elbow. This part, push yourself. Don't turn like this, using your fist to push yourself, okay? That's not, that's not good. So here, all right? So if this hand away, this hand here, Point one deduction, all right? So both hands away, I already explained to you, okay? So after you kick, 
After you side kick, make sure. Spear hand to the lower, to the groin part. So you see my head set up like this way. My shoulders should be relaxed. Not like this, mid ribs. Okay, palm down, rich hand, rich hand. You cannot see it, but okay. All right. No, no, I'm sorry, this knife hand. So from here, okay, this knife hand. All right, let me see. See, everything point down, including my thigh parallel. So after I kick, tap, in the middle, in the middle. Two fist distance, same, knife. And then what happened? Down block, aremaki. This is walking steps. Okay, so very important here from here. One, two, okay? Step, kick, down, strike. Next two, very important. Walking, walking steps. But so palm, pressing block. This hand you need to pick up a little bit, relax, and press it, press. From temple to forehead, press to your solar plexus with one fist distance away, okay? Here, pressing. A lot of athletes try to do fast because after this pressing block, they go to elbow side strike. They want to do a striking motion real quick. So they, you know, they're not doing locking the palm, uh, palm, palm block, okay? Pressing block, okay? So make sure up, down, using this hand. Lock, then set up. You have two dots, okay? So you're going to prepare, same. Like you're doing hitting, this hand, palms up, no wrapping, no open up. It's a short stroke from this side, this dot to this dot. See, solo flexes, you have to look, okay? So this is very important. So one more time, this far, one side doing spear hand, down, and just simply make your fist, ade maki, down one. This one, one, two. Don't go this, okay? Some people go over, that's a deduction. You're starting with the, here, this stop. Okay, then you repeat to the other side. Okay, so down talking for the, for the uh, key points. So Mr. Diego gonna show you. Uh, this way. Okay, so we do slow, everybody can join us, set up your arm like this. Okay, set up your arm, turn into one spin. Okay, go, stop. We do move by move right now, no hurry, okay? Okay, hi, stop. Okay, then front cross step, Anna. cross. Okay, very important. One fist distance of in step, your in step in between. Okay, and then pull your hands and side kick together. You don't need to kick too hard, but too hard. Go, pull, same time. Plum, set up, down. Okay? So once you, after you kick, if you lose your back, it's supposed to be preparation like this. But if you have a trouble doing that, lend your foot first, place in the right position. Check your hand technique from the mirror or any, anywhere. Okay, spare hand. Okay, Jeshu, palm up here, and then go ahead and make a fist. This hand, only this hand. Go, stop, same time. Two fist distance, okay, all right. Now, palm, okay, pressing block. So when you do pressing block, pick up this arm, relax a little bit. All right, pick up the other hand. Okay, go, stop. And set up, go, stop. Make sure you look. Most people have no problem with this part. They have a problem with the other part, okay? Now, set up, Anna. Do, Anna. cross. Do, slowly, stop, and good. Anna. okay, and then, Anna. Do. Okay, so this part, you need to look at your left, spot on the left. A lot of people, because the next move, you're gonna look front. Okay, do a second. 
Okay, are you pure choice? Cheeky. Uh, so they, some people just in a hurry, look at the front. So as a judge, if you, you need to catch this one. Uh, this is the key point you need to catch. Athletes has a key point to do it correctly, not to get deduction. Referee need to catch uh, their, their, their own key points guideline to, to, to find out where to catch a given uh, uh, deduction. Okay, so again, so this part. Okay, set up. Please join us. Hana! Do it! Hana! Do it! Hana! Okay, Hana! Do it! Again, set up. Hana! Do it! And cross. Hana! Do it! Hana! Hana! Do! All right, one last time. Ready? Hana! Do a little bit quicker. Do! Hana! Do! Hana! Hana! Do! Here, a second. 
I'm open. There are two ways. I'm going to show you the way I usually recommend, but you can do the other way. My hands facing front, my palm facing front. On count of four, I need to complete making a fist clench. Okay? And then five, six, seven. With one fist distance, lightly strike. Okay, you're not going to hear it that much, but the striking referee can see that because this is a low target strike. It's a strike. You need to make a striking. Okay, all right. So, how far? One fist distance. If somebody doing that far, it's going one direction. So, make sure. Okay, here one, two, three, fist, five, six, seven. If somebody don't strike, there's uh, we don't give up accuracy deduction. We go to presentation because you're not making expression of energy. Okay, you, you don't strike. So some people are doing this: one, two, three, four. Palm down. Five, six, seven, eight. Both ways are okay. So no deduction for each way. Okay. The last part. Okay, I'm gonna from here. I'm gonna turn this way. Here, all right, turn this way. So I'm gonna go back. See my head strike on the neck, shoulder high. I'm gonna, sorry, not shoulder wide, a little bit higher than shoulder. If you do shoulder high, that's a point one deduction. And immediately come back down block. Then relax. This is a strike. You can raise a little bit higher. It's a block, raise to shoulder. If it's strike, you can bring it up to your ear high. And strike, make your arm straight. Just like table three or table four. Okay, table four, you have this motion. JB Pum, what you keep. All right, strike, down block, same. Strike, down block, kiha. All right, when you're doing machiki, next strike, make sure the arm straight. What I mean straight is if you, if I roll my sleeve up, my, my arm, my elbows bend a little bit to pre, uh, pr protect my elbow. But with the sleeve on, shouldn't look like straight. The key is uh, a lot of athletes, when they do this at the end, they try to do fast. So their, their elbow never straight. They go just do the quick motion. So referee, you're in the back. You still can see it, more or less. Okay? So, so athletes, make sure you're... Uh, Elbow straight. And also very important is when you do these movement, there are seven movement. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So we usually recommend you instead of do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's kind of boring, right? You want you want to do something different. Remember, I said flare. So that's why even it's one strike first and then a block. We try to link them together. It's fun, fun. Okay. 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 So this is what what I recommend you do that. Link them together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ready? Okay. Go. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, strike. Okay, set up your arm, turn, go, go slow. One, two. All right, go, set up. One, two. Let's go back. Go. One, two. And last one, keep up. Go. Fun. Hello. Are also important, no double motion, one spin. All right, one more time. Go. Two, set, net, tassel, yosu, ego, yo, hut, strike, block. Hut, strike, block. Go, strike, block. And go, Kiha. Fine. Hello. Sure. All right. Now we put it 
in the real speed, okay? So if you guys can practice with us as well. All right, ready? This is uh, all the choreo. I don't think we need to practice the whole thing. We, we break into parts, let you guys know all the details. You can practice parts and bits and link them together. And also we show you the, uh, when the, uh, uh, each part, we add a, a presentation of parts, okay? Rhythm tempo, power speed, expression energy. So uh, uh, we're gonna take a five minutes break. Then we're gonna continue for the other two homes. Okay, everybody stand up. Chow up. Kunye. All right, good job. Thank you, sir, for this great seminar. You're welcome. Let's take, let's take five minutes break. We are really enjoying all the details you're sharing with us. So thank you very much. It's very valuable for all those who are joining us today through Mass Taekwondo social media. Of course, thank you again for the sponsoring the seminar of uh, Grandmaster Riction. Of course, also thanks to Master Fernal Austin, AT Taekwondo Federation President. Thank you very much. And of course, thanks again to Grandmaster Raymond Sue because with all of these details we are having now, we can uh, improve our Koyo Pumse at this first part of the seminar. So thank you to all those uh, Caribbean athletes and coaches, referees who are joining us and also to our US World Class Association members that are also enjoying of this great seminar. Thank you again. Let's take a sip of water and let's get back in a few minutes. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Alex. Thank you. And uh, thank you everybody for staying on. I think you guys are doing a great job. Keep practicing hard. Grandmaster Remain is very good. So you guys are all learning a lot. So keep up the good work and we are here to support you. Thank you.
Sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, sir. We are back live at uh, Mas Taekwondo social media platforms. We are live again. Thank you for joining us. We are ready for the second part with Grandmaster Raymond Sue to enjoy of Kungam. Thank you, sir, for sharing again all these details with us. The floor is to you. Yes. You're very welcome, Alex. All right, let's continue with the second Bunfei Kunga. All right, the first choreo, we took a lot of time because a lot of details, okay? Uh, Kunga, it's a, a simple form, but it's very hard to uh, execute. There are a lot of balance, okay, uh, involved. So most athletes try not to follow the guideline. They will say, oh, I don't want to do a second. I want to do three seconds, four seconds, five seconds, so I can keep my balance better. Of course, if you do less than uh, less than you know eight seconds, then you can do better. But is it uh, is it correct? No. So as a judge, we need to show we need to share with you uh, what's the consequence if you somebody just doing less than eight seconds. Okay. okay. All right. So for Pungse Kunga, we have a Hakdari Sugi, crane stance, okay? And then also your hand is Kunga Maki, diamond block, okay? So when we do this, uh, we should hold on for how many seconds? Officially a second, but as I mentioned, you can do less plus or minus one second. So it's between seven to nine. Nobody will like to do nine seconds. Everybody want to do less. So if you do seven seconds, it's okay. You don't need to do eight seconds, but what if you, somebody want to take it easy, do one second, two second, three, four, five, six, then the consequences you will get deduct point one deduction on accuracy. But presentation part, what are we gonna do? A lot of people, they don't know. They say, hey, referee, always score me good. But if you are the judges, you need to know on, uh, on presentation part, you need to give them a score down. Not only a little bit, you're gonna score down a little uh, more. So usually in part two, uh, we have a, a guideline to let you know. And athletes and coaches, you know what's the consequence. Are you gonna get deduction on your presentation? 
Okay, so if you're doing less than seven seconds on your Kungam Hakkari Sobu, okay, your crane stance, not only point one, if you're doing four types, there are four Hakkari Sobu, okay, but also presentation. Uh, a lot of people, they don't know, they say, hey, this is a rhythm tempo. Actually, this is not rhythm tempo because you're holding in one position for eight seconds. So that's a speed. So, so you should get it done on speed and power, the first category of your presentation. So this is what the uh, guideline in the referee part in Patu, okay? So if you do it once, less than seven seconds, of course, accuracy, you get 0.1 deduction. Presentation on the power, uh, power and speed, okay, you get 0.1 deduction, okay? If you do two times, you get 0.2 deduction, okay? If you do three times or four, all, four, all four times, all right? So you get uh, accuracy each one, you get 0.1. But presentation, you do three times, four times, you get 0.3 deduction. For example, you do kunga, the rest is very good. But hakari sagi, you do four times, okay? You just do five seconds. So accuracy, you get 0.4 deduction, each one. Presentation on, uh, on the power and speed, you're supposed to get 1.5. But because you do four times, you will get deduct 0.3. So 1.5 minus 0.3 is 1.2. You do three times, Presentation also did that 0.3 in the first category. If you do once or twice, it's 0.1 or 0.2. All right, so now we are in the, on the same page. Don't tell me you are on, it's in the rhythm tempo. Rhythm tempo is for one move going to the other move. This is the same move. Same like you're doing Kunga. Okay, do uh, Horyo, five seconds. So four to six is okay. But if somebody just doing like this, okay, not only 0.1 deduction on accuracy, Presentation, you're gonna get scored down on the first category. All right, so now we're gonna go back to the uh, Jinbi Sagi. Jinbi Sagi, same thing. All right, when you say Jinbi, you cannot move your feet first, move your left foot first, then do your arm. Some people going this. See, your, your foot already stepped out, your hand not moving. That's not, that's a point one deduction. So you need to, together, two, three, four, four five. One fist, one fist away from your body. One vertical fist between your fist. And also make sure your both fists are equal height. If you don't see yourself from the mirror, at least get somebody to help you. A lot of athletes go like this, not a, a lot of students doing like this. One hand is higher than the other, or vice versa. That's point one deduction, all right? So for Pumse Kunga, the first move, you already did that in this move in the podium. So same thing, elbow down, left hand, you're moving your left foot, according to WT Pumse uh, guideline, left foot. Uh, you asked me where is the written? No, a lot of guidelines not being written. It's over the, over the years as a, a referee, okay? It's in our, here, okay? But when I teach seminar, I will let you know, okay? So here, same. All right, so move your left foot, same turn your body about 30 degrees, you can engage with your hips. Bam. Shoulder high, shoulder wide. Okay, then palm heel strike, jaw strike. So this hand, relax. Some people do it like this, okay? It's too robotic. You, your presentation is not very good. So relax, you have to relax, utilize this hand. One, jaw strike. Okay, 30 to 45 degree. You cannot go straight. Straight is 0.1 deduction. More than 45 degree like this, it's a deduction or like this. So here, make sure your palm, later on I'll show you why. Palm, heel, it's ahead of you, not like this. This is a deduction, all right? So make sure three times, one and two and three, okay? And then when you're coming back, all right, there's two ways to do that. But I'm gonna explain to you, okay? For, uh, we're gonna, I, I'm going to explain to you later, okay? All right, after this. So some people reset. See this hand? Because you're changing your step. I reset, all right? This is a block, knife and block, shoulder high. So footwork, I'm gonna show you very important. 
My footwork should no double motion. A lot of people will double motion, okay? Because this, the first one is okay. A lot of people will do one, two, one, two. No, double motion point one deduction, okay? So you should go straight, straight, back stance. Next one, straight, initiate with the front foot and together, and together. That's correct. The other way is some people doing that, they will making a little bit circular motion, even a small circular motion, like small circular motion, small circular motion. That's also a deduction. Just like you're doing Akubi, front stance. Are you gonna go in and out like a skating or zigzag? No. All right, so that's a point one deduction. If interfere with your rhythm tempo, your rhythm tempo also will be scored out. So it doesn't matter, you go forward with the front stance, you're going backwards, back stance. That applies, you cannot do that, all right? So at the hand technique, okay? You can reset, reset, same time, one. So this one, middle line, you need to align with your solo plexus line. See here, you're not like this. This is deduction, this line here, fingertip, shoulder high, okay? The second one, you can reset, reset, do together, together. All right, so the second way is once you're doing this, you don't extend it. Bam, bam, all right. So these are both uh, accept, all right? But personally, this is the uh, theory I'm telling you in uh, our scoring, okay? So this is an exception, okay? Remember like that you're doing table four at the ending, block, punch, block, punch. So in one combination, you have two movement. Okay, so lock. So this is the end of my first movement. It's combination, right? You not allow, you're not allowed to extend it to punch. If you do extension and punch, not only accuracy, you get point one deduction, but also presentation because you're interrupting the rhythm of tempo. You will score down on that. So you go one, two, and then you turn the other side, one, two, and bang, 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 bang. So that's, that's the basic theory. Same with the table five, okay? You do block, block, right? You don't block and extend. And after kick, you do strike, block. You don't do strike and extension. All right, so you have to know it. The only exception usually is in, in this Kunga uh, Kumse. Uh, all right, why? It's a long story. <laughs> I'm not gonna share with you. It's something with the referee. All right, so then in the world championship. So right now in Kunga, they allow people to do both. We, are, we, we allow. Okay, people do both. But correctly, once you're changing steps, you are allowed to reset your arm. If you're not changing your step, you're not allowed to, to, to do extension. All right? So this is how I'm gonna share with you. All right, so make sure you understand. So Mr. Diego, let's do first set of move. Okay, let's go back a little bit more. All right, Jumbi! Five seconds, Jumbi Sogi. Okay. Inner wrist push block, unpumble, long tongue, catch your hockey. Left arm under, hi, down. Okay, do slow. Hana, set up. Do. Hana. Do. Do directly. Hana. Do. Okay, now set up. Hana. Do. Hana. He said. Two, Hana, two. Okay, so again, I forgot to mention what is the palm heel strike. Do this way. If a Mr. Diego do a palm heel strike here, you see why palm heel should be here. You're striking somebody, right? If you're doing, see here, if he's striking somebody, okay, I can do like this. You see, he can bear all my body weight, even I'm very heavy. Okay, so if he's doing like this, all right, he cannot strike correctly. So make sure 
When we judge it or you're practicing, make sure palm heel. Okay, not straight. 30, 45 degree, between 30 to 45 degrees. Okay. All right, so again. All right, with the gym piece again. Right up. Right, this one. Two. Right up. Two. Right up. Watch your footwork, especially the second back uh, uh, de okay? Anna! Two! Okay, very good. One more time. If you can join us. All right, ready? Hey! Two! Anna! Two! Hana, two. Hana, two. Hana, two. All right, relax. All right, chill. Okay, so we got the first set, seven movements. Okay, now we can uh, mention, uh, we could do a little bit regular speed, more uh, robotic. Okay, we're not talking about rhythm tempo. Just move by move, put a little bit more uh, intensity. Okay, Mr. Diego, ready? Okay, okay. Hold it. Just regular speed. Pop. Do. Hold it. Do. Hold it. Do. Hold it. All right, relax. Okay, so the first seven moves. How are we gonna add the uh, presentation fact, okay? So the first one, of course, relax, you're gonna do block. Then you have a three striking movement. Of course, we don't wanna say fast, as I mentioned, you're gonna do consecutively, okay? With a good front stance. One, two, three, and the power striking. All right, so these three should be no stopping, no stoppage. When you go back, relax, Block, relax, block, relax, block. So you have a contrast. All right, that's the difference in the Kung Gang Kung Se. All right, so Mr. Diego is gonna show you the first seven move, okay? All right, so one, two, uh, two three, four. Acceleration. Chi, go, stop, 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 stop. Relax, stop, relax, stop, relax. All right, relax. One more time. So you see the difference? If you're uh, a pretty awesome athlete with a good footwork, this is, this is usually a uh, rhythm tempo, okay? We want you to do it, okay, in a tournament. Okay, this is the angle we're gonna do one more time. So if you guys wanna join us, you can join with us, okay? Okay, first seven move. Chi, All right, relax. Of course, at the end of every blocking movement, relax, bah, power, make sure, okay? Using your core, okay? Now, next one. Immediately when we do the, do the, uh, uh, we're gonna do a, our hakdari sir, okay? Which is crane stance. All right, do the one, two, three. So once we're gonna do it, you're gonna set up your arm. Right, so set up earlier. I already mentioned this hand here, this hand here, right? Okay, all right. So, okay, so, so we're gonna do. Okay, sorry, this hand should be palm down. Okay, so when we do the footwork, I'm gonna mention it right now before we start. So Habdani said the crane stance. There's a lot of, a uh, lot of uh, mistakes. You will get deduction. How so? I'm gonna tell you. One is people do double motion. Uh, a lot of older division or you don't have a good balance. You can do that to start with, but every footwork because of a, a timing issue, okay? You can point my direction. One, you turn the supporting foot straight. Two, you push and do your heart dirty surgery. That's much easier, but because of timing issue, it's point one direction. Of course, your presentation on the second category, rhythm and tempo will get scored down a little bit. Okay, that's one. Okay.
Okay, but some people even they are good, they try to do at the same time. But you see, this foot is crooked, supporting foot is crooked. That's also another 0.1 deduction. All right, you will get if the referee can catch you. And of course, once you're doing Hakdani Sagi, you're shaking. Uh, it doesn't, it's, if it's shaking, it's 0.1 deduction. It means your balance not good. Balance, we count into your accuracy. But if, if it interferes with your rhythm tempo, okay, of course, you will get deduction as well. So if you're shaking, some people, if, Okay, if you're bad shaking, it's 0.3 deduction. All right, let you know. And, or sometimes you foot away and come back, that's 0.1 deduction. But what if somebody tapped the floor? That's adding a move. If you're adding a move, basically there's three uh, category. You get 0.3, big mistake. One is you're adding a move. We don't have this move, you add a move. Every time you tap, it's extra 0.3 deduction. All right, and you're missing a move, that's deduction, or do a wrong move. Usually, usually big mistake falling to these three categories. So this is adding a move. Or some people hop, ooh, lose my balance. They hop, point one deduction, okay? Or somebody like a dancing twist, all right? That's point one, a point three deduction. But what if somebody, when we, when the judge is judging uh, the accuracy, it's real time. You make a mistake, they catch it, they deduct at their system right away. We have 0 0.1, 0 0.3, but, okay? Presentation, we are evaluate after you finish your performance, then we uh, award you how much point we're gonna give it to you on a power speed, rhythm, tempo, or expression of energy, include a, a volume of the movement. So what if I'm doing, doing this move? Okay, my foot is crooked, referee push 0.1 already, right? Then you tap on the floor, that's 0.3. Okay, you tap another time, it's 0.3. All right, so sometimes this is, it is what it is. All right, so some referee will ask me, oh, I already did that uh, point, point 0.1, but he, this person tap on the floor, that's 0.3. Should I total only give him 0.3? No, that's a separate issue because tapping the floor is considered is adding a move. Okay, it's nothing to do with the, the stance, not correct. All right, so little mistakes stay, big mistake need to be added on. Okay, all right, so when you do Akdani Sagi from here, oh, another thing some people say, hey, I'm smart. I hear I'm dragging my foot here and pick it up. That's very easy, but this not only interfere with the presentation, rhythm, tempo, also, this is a 0 0.3 big mistake. Don't do that. Okay, so of course, if you're good, do one motion, duck, lock, squeeze together. Okay, not only squeeze to the, together, uh, adding uh, the counterbalance, but also I give you personal tips, trying to swallow. Swallow your saliva. See if you can settle yourself. And another tip is like your pelvis, push, push. Okay, your pelvis. Uh, the, I like, you will never forget after I say that. Like you are in the public, you like to, okay, uh, you want to fart. So what you're gonna do, you don't want to fart. You just squeeze your pelvis, all right? So you can practice those three tips. I recommend you, okay? All right, so you pivot, okay? Create counterbalance, swallow, and push your pelvis forward, okay? See if you get better. And then from here, you're gonna do Kung Dotsky, Kung Dotsky is large hinge. This is a small hinge, this is a large hinge. Large hinge, punch, body line, body line. One fist distance from your solar plexus level. This hand, a lot of people will do this pressing. No, that's a deduction. So how do you do a punch to the sideway? Same theory, wrist to your elbow. You see, I'm rubbing. From here, punch. Body line, one fist. Okay, don't go like this. This is, you're gonna get deduction every move. All right. So wrist straight, not going like this. Some people's shoulder like this looks very, very weird. Okay, so when we do the Kundoski, large hinge, set up, bam, you need to look at the same time. When do we reach chamber? When we cross, we cross, okay, one, this is a, like one foot space, you cross. 
okay? Some people like to do this way. It's a little bit harder, okay? So usually I recommend do this way, all right? So you're doing this, you don't, you're not allowed to reach chamber first. Some people are doing this here. No, that's a deduction. Your timing is not good. Here, when you step, and then keep your stance lower level. Spin, lock, same time. Make sure lock your chichungsa horse riding stance. So a lot of people, when they spin, they open up, or they're not in the same level, all right? And the spin is very important. The good top athletes, they spin really, really fast. That gives them better presentation for it. Of course, you spin fast, not gonna, nothing to do with your, your, your accuracy, but presentation, speed and power, right? That's good, right? So here, set up and spin, bam, same time, right? And then very important, this section, when we do the, uh, uh, almost, uh, okay, it's a stump, okay? Jijiki, when we do stump, it's very important, especially the first stump and the third stump. This is blocking movement. You see, my, I'm using my inner part of my foot. Okay, then stop. Okay, stop in the rule book. If the stop not enough sound and power, it's 0.3 deduction. It's a big mistake. All right, so make sure you're going to stop. All right, and then if Mr. Do Diego want to kick me with the slow motion? He's kicking my lower part. So this is block and stop. All right, so this is application. So in the first move and third move, third stop, you have to do a blocking motion at your knee high. Okay, some people, they don't do it. They just, they just pick up the leg and stop the floor. That's point one deduction. But some of the countries, they give a point three deduction. They say you're doing the wrong technique. You're missing a blocking motion. But usually in part two, we a little bit relax. So we just give point one deduction. So you need to have a block and stop. Okay? And make sure after stop, the same time you key up, you yell, you look at the direction, okay? And you you, you yell, you stop, you have to make a good sound. All right, three things and spot. All right. If you miss any of them, it's extra point three deduction. Okay. And when you do this uh, blocking, don't do too much. A lot of people, they overdo it. The knee is here. They go like this. So you're passing the, you're passing the knee, okay? That's point one deduction. Don't do that. And hand technique is also pretty important. A lot of people doing wrong because same like we're doing double knife hand. You have two different, uh, two different, uh, you know, hand doing two different things. So we are doing palm down. So this one, pick up to your shoulder, across your face, and block, use your inner wrist to block. Okay, this hand, you just wind your body and then block, inner block, okay? Uh, okay, the outside block, okay? By using this wrist, outside part of your wrist. So this is inside, this is outside. So this take a longer route. So you cannot do just same time. A lot of people just keep doing time. Become like this, so, so you bypass this part. So it's point one deduction plus, your, your uh, volume of movement on third category of presentation or, uh, also gets scored down. So make sure, wait for this hand. Up, together. This is like, a, we call mountain block. Look like a mountain, all right? This part, left side of the window, right side of the window should be even. Twist your wrist. Not like this, not like this. If you turn your wrist outside, that's a big mistake. So your wrist line, filter line, align. Okay, don't pass your head unless it's a knife hand, but not in this form. In this boom say, okay, if you over your head, it's point one deduction as well. Okay, so here, up, cross, up, across. If you don't remember, I give you a little uh, uh, reminder, like you're wiping your nose, okay? But don't do that dramatic. It's relaxed, done. Okay, so you don't pass pass this part. All right. So this, this is you have to do that. So from here, okay, up, yeah, okay. So So I'm looking at this part. 
Okay, so usually you won't be able to see the other. So when I do this, okay, so now my left foot move forward. Okay, my left arm under. Okay, just like this first foot, first move. Bam. Shoulder high, high shoulder wide. And I move left foot, left arm outside, like take a jump. Make sure twist. You see, you do down block, you twist. That's why you have to twist. If you don't do twist, you do like this, or you want to do that. So shoulder high. If you go to neck, chin high, going one. Go to face high, going three. So here, one to chung so gi, two, nara hi so gi. Ready, step. One, two, look at how we're gonna do this. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. Okay. One, two, three. You simply drop your hands, point your knuckles to the floor. With the one fist distance. Then four and five. You try to distribute to the side. Okay. In the middle, palm facing your legs. With a two fist distance of one hand span. Like this. So usually, if you are competition athletes, hand your sleeve and pen leg shorter. So referee can see exactly where your wrist and your ankle uh, there. Okay. So again, one, two, three. You have to, some people open up one, two, three. You didn't point your knuckles down. That's a deduction. Or some people open up too, too fast. Make sure. Breathe. One, two, three. Four and five. Okay, five seconds. Okay? All right. So this is what you're going to do. All right. Then you're going to do the other side. The other side, what we do, I'm going to do this way. Okay, go that way. So I'm going to show you. This is hard to do that because you're not moving this foot. Okay? So a lot of people will pivot this foot first. Then stop. So if you pre move up this move, uh, this foot, it's a double motion. It's going one deduction. Okay, so very important. Okay, all right, let's have a Mr. Diego. Ready? All right, we do slowly. Okay, we set up the, we pivot first and we set up hand and foot together. Okay, okay, Anna, turn, set up. All right, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and hi, set up, stop. All right, do a little bit slower. Okay, step and set up your arm and then pivot, stop. Okay, and then set up the arm and pick up the arm, pick up the leg, pick up the arm, stop. He up, okay, and then you're moving left foot, left arm under, otherwise it's going one. Go, step. Down. And move a little bit to your right. Now, from horse riding stance to ready stance, move your left foot, so left arm outside. And then twist your arm. One, two, three, four, and five. And set up your arm. Okay, and don't pre move your right foot. Okay, go. Stop. Okay. So that much. Again, so I forgot to mention, how are we gonna do Kung Gang Maki? Okay, Kung Gang Maki, this hand need to go up. This hand need to go to the side. Same, go to the side, two fists this is in the middle. So it's a second. Nobody wanna do nine seconds. So nobody even wanna do eight seconds. Seven seconds, good. So but I'm gonna still count for eight seconds. Okay, you guys can modify. So from here, this hand, thirty from here, go to the bell now. Here, go to the side. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. My shoulder, okay, from here to your solar plexus, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the side. So the other hand, it's from here. One, two, three, four to your shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. The line of your wrist. Align with your nose line with one fist distance without twisting your uh, wrist. Twist down, mostly twist up, twist out or in. That's a point one deduction. So one more time. 
My high block, Ogumagi, it's one, two, three, four to the shoulder, five, six, seven, eight. My side down blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When do we turn the head? Usually I recommend on seven, eight. So if I'm working both arms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, okay. So, uh, I'm sorry. Usually, you turn the head five, six, seven, eight. So, one more time. Seven, eight. So other people will do that, okay? So, it's okay, but just as long as doing natural. So, when I do one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, I turn my head accordingly. Five, six, seven, eight. So all the movement in your Kung Se, please don't snap, okay? Like a jerking motion. No, that's a deduction. All right, don't do that. All right, so again, Mr. Diego. All right, set up, Ana. Do, set up, Ana. Do, set up, Ana. Do. We can do a little bit faster because we have time, okay? Okay, Ana, set up, do. Hana, step, do. Hana, do. He up here. But Hana, set up your arm. Do. All right, move forward a little bit. Left arm outside. Hana, twist. Do. Five seconds. Hana, do, set, and tussle to the side. Set up your arm. Hana. Make sure you pick it up. Do. So got it? So this is, okay, one last time to do that. Because the opposite side basically the same. It's a, the, the movement is kind of uh, not too much, simple, but it's hard to execute. Okay, ready? One number seven move. And up. Do. Anak, do. Anak, do. Anak, do. But anak, do. But move forward, move forward. Anak, do. Hana, do. Okay, so from here, it's no difference. So, okay, so we're gonna continue. Okay, so right, you just do that from here. You gonna, okay. All right, so we're gonna switch your hand. Okay, pivot, set up your arm and pivot, pivot, turn, pivot, and then bring your hands up. All right, a second, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And up, two. All right, so you need to keep looking at this way. If you go turn your head this way, then turn this way, it's going three deduction because you add a move, okay? Then he's gonna spin, right, to the right side. Set up, and up, two, stop. All right, so here, you're going to do one more time. Okay, Hana. And then go. A second. Okay. And set up. Go. Stop. And then you're going to do Hana. Do. All right, let's go back to that part. All right, so relax a little bit. So make sure. Occasionally, this is a for if you are the judge or referees. Occasionally, the people will do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and but they forgot to do one more thing. Then they go this one. They're missing a section. All right. If they're make, missing a section, how many move? You're gonna give deduction. Each movement, top parts point three missing hand technique, missing foot techniques. The point three deduction. All right, I'm gonna let you figure, go figure, okay? Next time I'm gonna ask you, okay? 
All right. So you have to know that's a scenario that sometimes athletes will forget. All right, Mr. Diego, we're gonna do one more time. Okay, set up, turn, and then go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Set up, Anna. Two. Anna. Two. Okay, another one. All right, so you see here, if somebody doing this, bam, bam, oh, they say, oh, I'm a little bit off, I'm smooth. That's a 0.3 deduction, okay? All right, if they are doing like this, heels up, if I'm gonna come back, show you something. Ooh. That's 0.1, because they are not moving their, their, any of their feet. If they are moving one foot, or they are moving dun -dun, that's 0.3 deduction, okay? All right. All right, continue, we're gonna do another kick. Hattari Sogi and Kung Nang Haki. Make sure you push, it go. Two, set, ne, daso, yoso, iga, yo. Hai! Two! And then you're gonna stump. Hai! Set up your arm, ba! And right hand under, okay? We continue. Right hand under, set up, go. Same way, the other side, opposite. Right now, he's gonna move his right foot from right to left, from horse riding stance to Jun Sagi to Narahi uh, Sagi, okay? So, right hand outside and twist, go. Five seconds. If you're using the wrong hand, it's 0.1 deduction. Now you're gonna stop, okay, make sure the left foot is not gonna move first. Hi. Set up the arm. Now he's gonna turn back, okay. Hi. Set up, keep it. Hi. Go. Hello. All right, so again, so Kunga, okay? Ready? Put down one. All right, you guys can join us and practice. Okay, ready? Hi! Do, set, net, also, you so, he got, you know. Okay, uh, anybody practicing with us? I saw some people just standing there watching. So I would like everybody join us. We practice one more time, okay? We're not gonna do too fast. So, okay, think about uh, what you just, just, just learned, okay? And then if you can digest, become part of you. So Mr. Diego, let's go from the from beginning. We do slow, we're not gonna do fast, okay? All right. All right, so, Move by move on my count. Hey. Do. Hey. Do. Hey. Use both hands, okay? You're gonna use, don't just use one hand. Poo. When you almost hit the air, poo, okay? Hey. Do. 
Okay, Hakari Sogi, if you really have a trouble, pave it first. Pave it first. Then, okay, it's okay during practicing. So you saw the cooking down form, okay? So uh, make sure you practice hard. There's a, a balance. You need to practice your hakdari sogi. Okay, really, really good. Okay. All right. Now, the last, the third pumse we're going to introduce is our uh, tebek pumse. Tebek pumse also there's some uh, changes recently. Okay. So you have to know know that. But we're going to start from beginning. When we do the Tebek uh, Pumse, same, basic ready steps, okay? So similar like a Tenku Sanja, Tenku 3. First, of course, we are doing double knife hand, downward pushing block, okay, Hechomaki, Are Hechomaki. So we go into the left, left arm outside. Then you have to twist, okay? What I mean, twist is here, just like you do, do down block, like a, uh, all right, knife hit, same thing. The blade, you don't need to touch this, 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 all right, this, uh, this way. If you go to the neck and chin, going one, go to the face, too high. Some people, old style, I saw people go like this. Somebody's too happy. Okay, so. This is a point three deduction. Okay, so make sure, tuck it in, elbow down. So usually elbow down. Don't just go like this. You need to engage with the elbow. All right, so go to the left, left arm outside, go to the right, right, right arm outside. And of course, your stances, it's bonsagi, bonsagi, as I mentioned. Okay, one, one, two, so same time. So where do I place my hand? I give you side view. Knee, hip bone in the middle, okay? Two fist distance away. If I go in front, here. Go to the side, this way. Not in the front, not in the, not like you're doing kunga like this. No, should be in the middle, all right? Otherwise, point one deduction, okay? So if I'm going to the left, set up, bam, same. And then tuck it in. Just like table Sanja, you do front kick, double. If you do Dubon Chinuki, make sure timing is you kick when you land it, okay? You kick, bam, bam, same time. One, two, long top. And then one punch, this hand need to come back, touch your belt. Two punches, back, touch your belt. It's point one deduction, okay? And also, uh, uh, you maybe you have a question. What, what if somebody doing this? You kick, go bam bam. What happened? They are doing the wrong hand. Is it point three? Point three? No. This is the. This is in the name. 
is a double middle punches. So if they are doing run side, we only deduct 0 0.3 once. So if you are the judges, okay, make sure, make sure only deduct once. Of course, after you're doing double points bump, bump, make sure I'm gonna come in over here. All right, no double motion, no heels up. A lot of time the heels up. All right, so you need to push your weight to the back and using the ball of your foot. Of course, set up your hand in during the transition. Turn, bam, same time. Kick, down, down. All right, so this is the first part. Make sure you transition left and right. Okay, Mr. Diego, do it correctly. It's not that hard. Heels down on the floor, using the ball of your foot. When you do front kick, keep your knee, supporting knee straight. All right, to be we do it real slow. You guys can join us. Set up the arm, Anand. Okay, and then do your stance. Okay, finish your move. All right, in the middle. Now, set up your arm. Do front kick, put down and double punch. One, two. Okay, set up your arm. Okay, the doing competition, you preset your arm, then you turn, then you're not very, very smooth. You need to set up your arm during your transition when you're turning, okay, spinning, okay? So it's gonna push, go to the stance, stop, and finish. Then go, kick, stop, set up arm, bang, bang. All right, again, all right? Same, same thing, we're gonna do one more time. Set up, twisting, ana, do, ana, set up, do, bang, set up, dan, dan, ana, do, set up and finish. Okay, make sure when you do bong sogi, squeeze a little bit. Okay, don't open up. Hi, ana, and do. All right, so good, come back. All right, so we do a little bit, uh, same time, okay? All right, ready? Ready, Hi. same time, Pop. Do, stop, stop, down, Hi. do, come back, all right, relax. All right, so this is, oh, this is what you see, one, two, three, four. But in the real time, if you do competition, after you do double knife and down block, you need to kick right away and follow the punches, all right? So that's how you connect. Okay, let's do the competition. Okay, format, okay? The first two movement, Mr. Diego gonna link them together, okay? Immediately gonna accelerate with the kicks and immediately recover with the double punches. Go, first one. Stop, 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 okay? Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so if you're good enough, practice like like a competition. All right, so rest a little bit. So now we uh, come across that this is a challenging part. Okay, JP Poon Wachiki, everybody learned from table side and table four. All right, but we have the JP Poon Wachiki. So JP Poon Wachiki, it's a front stance. This hand from bell, go up, right? The line of your wrist. Align with your nose, all right? Knife hand, okay? So when you turn your body, this line, one fist distance, follow your body. It's not like you, your body straight, you move your head. No, that's wrong, okay? So here, I twist. But this is a strike. Remember, uh, cardio at the end, we, we are doing the next strike. So you can pick up a little bit higher at your ear because this is not a block. Kunga, shoulder. Striking a little bit higher at your shoulder, it's, uh, at your ear, it's good. So this is the same thing, you strike. So you're gonna twist your body 45 degrees. All right, no difference than Tegu, Sajia, okay? Now, next one, okay. We are doing, not Tegu Sajia, we're gonna do carry block. So this hand gonna come back to your belt. This is the hard part, okay? I'm not gonna do my footwork, so you guys can, uh, can practice with me. This hand, okay, it's at the neck. So usually I will say the middle fingers about at your uh, filter, upper lips. So when I do the parry block, this is a block. Uh, this is a blocking somebody's kick. 
or punch at your middle section. So at least your fingertip need to cover to your belt. So I cannot do like this. A lot of people doing, they took, they don't turn their body upper torso. So they cannot accommodate this move. They go like this, like a swimming or Macarena. I don't know what that thing doing. Okay, so this is run. Every time we give a deduction and also the volume of the movement, not good. You're gonna affect the presentation point. So the correct way to do that is you twist your body opposite. Okay, if you're just right hand, you twist your shoulder to the left side. This hand allows you to go down in the middle line. See, see my belt to my belt. I'm blocking, carry block, block, follow with the punch. The second one, elbow, twist, same, to my belt, punch. Pressing block, bam. Not pressing block, okay, parry. Okay, I'm sorry, a parry block. You got that? So you have to practice the, the motion, all these movement, okay, with the standing, then we're gonna connect with the footwork. When you connect with the footwork, it's even more challenging. So again, so like this, all right, you can continue to practice this move. Uh, on and on, okay? So I'm going here. When I, first I set up this, one, two, up, one, two, one, two, one, two. All right, keep practicing until you get it. And also, I don't recommend you doing that because somebody gonna kick you or punch you. Your hand need to go, stop, interfere, uh, intercept somebody's attack, see, away. Punch, away, punch, away, punch. You don't do like this. Some people want to do look good. They go, mm -hmm. ah, punch, mm -hmm. ah. All right, so if you go in and out, you cannot intercept the, the attacking movement. All right, so that's not correct. All right, so make sure, again, I'm giving you side view. Twist your body, just hand touch your mouth. One, punch, two, punch, three, Punch, usually key hop, but you can do continuously however many times until you get it. All right, so this is only the hand technique practice with this, this, this part, your upper body. Footwork, very easy. Footwork, simply you're doing front stance, front stance, but when you put it together, it's not easy. Why? When you put it together, you, you watch most of the athletes, they will go in and out in and out, in and out. So that's a deduction on every, uh, every stance, every, uh, you know, stance movement. All right, so watch. So to practice is one, hands down, here, okay? One fist, twist, or if you have a good balance, just go like this, punch, okay? One, two, one, hi! All right, you don't need to punch hard, okay? So practice again, see? All right, this hand you can come down, usually it's here. One, two, one, two, one, two. But if you do continuous move, okay, more or less you will go in and out, but how do you get it out? How are you gonna try not to do it? Do practice more. So usually it's go straight, bah, straight, bah, straight, ha! All right, so you need to practice more and ask somebody to spot you. Okay, your instructor, your, your, your peer, okay, to watch you in order not to do that. Okay, so this part, I explain more, you have to go. Okay, Mr. Diego, let's go back. JB? Okay, okay. All right. JB Pung Mochiki. Hi! Da! Slow. Anna! 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 But again, I need to say Anna too. Hi! Anna, do! Ana, do. Ana, do. Yeah. But 
Okay, you're gonna start with the Shakun Doji, small hinge. Some people doing this, but officially, if you look at all the Korean grandmasters book, whatever, this is a small hinge. Mm -hmm. So you are doing two hands doing two different blocks. Okay, but of course people say, oh, this is a rotation. Okay, rotation. Okay, you're gonna do inner wrist, inner wrist outside block. Okay, so if you do this, there's not too much rotation. This is a rotation. So right now we let both. Okay, okay, but correctly, I'm gonna tell you, uh, this is a, the name is small hinge. It's not, this is, I don't know the name. If you go like this, this is a rock. This is a large hinge is here. This is a small hinge. Okay. So how are we going to do this? This block. Okay. Diamond side block. So this, all days we bring this hand all the way over here because high block. So here. This way. Here. Because right now they don't want you to do that. One. Two. Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, want you to do, we don't want you to do directly like this. This is totally wrong. Okay, this is also not good. So we are having you to do this. You go here, close to your solo practice about this part, this quarter. You go here, don't cross. All right. Uh, this guidelines according our uh, uh, the present uh, World Taekwondo Federation Pumse referee chair. He's his guideline, we do that. But if you go look at the most of the grandmasters uh, uh, book, they want you cross at your solo plexus and then distribute out. But because we are, we, are, we, uh, we follow the WT uh, Ponce referee chair's direction. So he doesn't want us to do this. He doesn't want us to do this. He doesn't want our, our cross. So you need to pay attention. When your hands go here, when you bring it to the middle part, immediately distribute out. So this is just like high block. This is to the shoulder high. All right. So if you're doing all the others, it's a uh, your volume of the movement not correct. So we will deduct the volume of the movement, the third category. The presentation of the accuracy, we don't really want to do that unless you're doing this way. This is totally wrong. Okay. So if you're doing over or cross a little bit, all right, that's that's presentation. All right, don't worry about uh, the accuracy. All right, so when we do this. Okay, I'm gonna scoot back. Okay, this from here, I'm supposed to go this direction. Make sure no double action with your footwork, very smooth. Done. All right, I'm gonna close to you. So the hand technique is very important. So I'm not moving my foot, my feet, I'm cha not changing stances. So this is uppercut, like table padia, too slow. This is palm down in the mid ribs, so not the bell. Not shoulder eye, this is deduction. This is deduction here, palm down. This is deduction here. This is upper lips. You're doing upper cut, bam. Maintain your back stance. Don't shift your weight, otherwise it's deduction. Upper cut. Then this left hand, slide down to your belt, punch. No extension, because you, you're not changing your stances. One, two, okay? So if I give you this view, one, Okay, two. Okay, you want to do a little bit fast, a little bit consecutive, not fast. Okay, okay, but don't do this. One, a, this. Don't do that. Okay, just directly. Okay, also, one thing you need to know you cannot missing this. A lot of people, I give you an angle. What did I miss? I'm missing this one at the shoulder. So that's point three. A lot of people trying to do fast. All right, they say, I want a better presentation. Okay, you have to glide, at least glide through. Okay, lightly touch. Bam, bam, that's good. If you go like this, you're missing a move. It's point three. Then, next move. Bring your head, small hinge. Jakun, uh, uh, So the head has a two, uh, two ways to do that. I recommend pick up at your shoulder high, hammer fist. Hammer fist, not back fist. You do back fist and point three, did you know, Hammer fist. Parallel with your kick, okay, with your with your side kick. If your side kick is supposed to be at your face, like I'm all, oh, I cannot kick high, I kick my chest high, but my hand, if I kick my chest high, I, uh, I will get 
point one deduction with my kick. Okay, so but if my arm not going to parallel with my kick, that's an arm problem, and my arm going to get point one deduction. And also, some people will over rotate the palm. That's the point one deduction. So, Mr. Diego, come over, please. So, if he's doing a side kick, okay, so set up your arm. Okay, chamber. Chamber, I'll move a little bit to the center. Okay, I'm going to move his foot so you can see, move his kick. Okay, All right, chamber. So, he's kicking and eight. Okay, bam, he can kick his face. So, he need to manage his hand, swing a little bit higher. So, make sure between this parallel. If he's doing this, I'm bl blaming on his arm, point one deduction. If his kick at the chest, it's point one deduction. And his hand, not going to parallel, his hand too high or too close. Okay, so not only kick, got a point one deduction, this lower body. Okay, uh, no, this is kicking motion. And then the hand also get point one, so point two. Okay, understood? So just some people kick, this hand will over rotate. That's point one. If they are doing back fence, point three. Okay, all right. So you stay on the side. So you can do two, two things. One is, okay, we are doing this. Okay, I can do this way. Or we are doing a small hinge, right? I can do directly, swing my arm up, or I can pick up my shoulder, bam. Both are okay to do that. Okay, so once I doing the this one, I do pilcho chagi, pilcho pilcho chiki. I'm sorry, chiki strike, target strike. My elbow need to connect with my palm. See my palm down, not this way. This way deduction. Palm down. Solo plexus line. And my shoulder need to turn 45 degree because I'm grabbing somebody. See twist. So where do I? I'm not grabbing. I'm not. Oh, Thumbs up, I'm not open up. That's all point one deduction. I'm keeping my finger straight at this hand. This fist is between my elbow and armpit in the middle here. Okay, in order for me, my elbow to strike on my palm. If you strike on the finger, fingers, that's point one deduction. You need to make a sound if you if you don't make a sound, it's presentation, the third category expression of energy, score that. Okay, no accuracy deduction. But if you over hit, under hit, point one. If you don't hit it, I don't think it will happen. Okay, uh, otherwise, if you don't touch, it's point three deduction. All right, and all right, Mr. Diego, you're gonna demonstrate this part. Okay, okay, turn around. Okay, set up the arm, Anna, do. Done. Okay. All right. Turn around so people can see. All right. Set up the arm. Arm up. Okay. This one still, still. This one need to still be prepared. Still. Like table eight. Arm up. Do. Done. And side punch. Arm up. Do. And set up. Arm up. Okay. Do. Pick up. Da. And down. All right. So this is important. What we're gonna? Okay. We're gonna continue. So his back foot is 30 degree. So we don't want you guys, all right, do this. Turn this foot and bring it together. That's double motion, one, two. So what you're gonna do is, I'll move a little bit to that way so I can, thank you. So your foot is already have angle. So I'm putting my feet together, squatting, bending, because we from lower position to lower position. I don't go up and down, that's bobbing. That's a deduction. So feet together, bending, just like you're doing uh, front stance, uh, the, 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 the height, the level. Then I pivot, done. Okay, I'm doing this way, okay? So this is important. All right. And make sure feet together, perfect feet together. If you want forward, one backward, or you have a gap in between, that's a point one deduction. All right, ready, set up, bring your feet together, and then pivot and set up. Ba. Same. Hana. Turn. Do. Okay. Hana. Do. Hana. Do. Da. And da. Same thing. Okay. This one, you see, when you turn around facing front, 
Okay, you need to do the same way. Bring your feet together, double knife hand. Okay, and two. Okay, again, this part. No, well, before psychic, right? Yeah, before psychic. We are doing this way. We're gonna turn. We're gonna turn this way. Go. Anna. Two. Anna. Two. Anna. Two. Okay. Anna. Set up. Two. Anna. Two. Anna. Two. Anna. Two. And Anna. Two. Okay. So feet together. Anna. Okay. Two. Double knife in. All right. We supposed to do the other direction. We want to show you. This is like a keku. Saja. Anna. Okay. So where do we? This head here. We're gonna do spear hand, okay? And spear hand. So this hand need to come back to the belt, okay? Right. Anna, two, stop. Pressing block and spear hand at the same time. A lot of people will do directly like this. No, that's a deduction. You have to come back, set up. That's like you do punch. This hand, pressing block, step, and spear hand, same time. Cannot do one. Two, okay. Everything same time. Let's go back. Okay. So this part, how are we gonna do this? This is a this is a self defense techniques. The old days when somebody grabbed me, one hand, two hand doesn't matter. So I, when we execute this form, we pull, draw the person in, and we release, spinning, bam, to tempo. All right, that's application to this form. So all days we do this form, we literally do this, bang, okay? Squat down and spin, bang. So since this is the application, is striking. So you're not supposed to stop, then turn. Should be one motion. But in the Ponce competition world, this is very hard to do that. A lot of people, they do fast, they lose the balance, they, they move. One foot or two feet, got 0.3 deduction. So right now in the competition world, they are not doing uh, one a, a complete spin. So if you see somebody doing spin good and without losing balance, that part they are doing correctly. You should reward them. They, this one you're supposed to do, okay? Bang, should be immediately, bang, this one. But right now a lot of, uh, you can see a lot of athletes, they are doing, they are doing uh, one, they are doing two, three, and pops, and then spin, right? Yes, yes. because some of the uh, instructor, coach teach you, oh, let's avoid the, uh, losing balance. Let's do that. But still try to impress referee in a different way. Hey, this guy can, there's, a, there's some connection, but they connect in the wrong part, okay? But it is what it is. Okay, all right, so ready? So, oh, I'm, I need to show you. So when we do this footwork first, we're doing, doing the front stance. So when we turn around, what stance we're gonna do? Still front stance by stepping here and pivot. All right, of course I'm doing uh, double motion. I supposed to step and pivot, right? All right, but a lot of athletes, they are doing like a table paja. The diamond stance, the angle front stance. They are doing from here, bam. see, diamond stance. So that's wrong. That's point one deduction. Don't do that. You need to do from here, bam. Then immediately push, push into back stance, then front stance. That's a correct way to do that. Hand technique from here, spear hand. This hand is a system, one fist distance. Solo flex is high. You're not moving. You're turning from here, okay? Turning from here, turning from here, turning from here. This hand is not moving. Still keep the same position, okay? Same height. But this hand, when you twist, this hand needs to come back to your right side of your belt. 
like a right side, your right kidney. Straight, don't bend, straight. All right, so release. From here, then you come back like Tenku Chija. This hand, all right, shoulder, not underneath, here. Strike at the temple, 135 degree. All right, not straight, 135 degree. So from, so, but here, you have two ways to do that. Correct way, okay, it's this way. But a lot of people will say, hey, I want to twist. They are doing this, twisting. Both ways are okay, but when they do twist, doesn't matter which way, elbow not supposed to be up. Elbow always down, otherwise it's going one direction. All right, so very important in your footwork, your arm work. Okay, ready? Double knife hand. Hana, do. Okay, do slow. Hana, put your hands in. Okay, pick up your foot, step, right? So he's doing a little bit too middle, okay? Should be right side. Some people overdo it, do the middle, it's a deduction. Or the hand, some people will twist. That's a deduction. Here, right side. So the head should look at this way because he's trying to do, and then set up the arm, the shoulder, either this or this. Okay, and into back stance. The same time, strike. Kihap, oh no, kihap. Next one, kihap. But, so one more time. This is very important, okay? We're gonna do front view for you guys and do back view. Ana, do. Set up your foot, and twist. Ana, do. Ana, do. Fight. Okay, now we are doing opposite way. This way. Ana, do. Ana, set your foot, step your foot. Okay, see this hand? Do. Ana, do. Yeah, fight. You got it? All right. Now, oh, continue. Now we're going to finish the last part. Kawi maki, scissor block. Okay? Scissor block. Some people, they get confused. Your right hand's busy punching, left hand's nothing to do. So you need to set up your hand here. Make sure don't pick up your heel. You're going to turn. Okay? Up. Two. Front kick. Double punches, similar like you're doing the te, te, uh, te, uh, form at the, the beginning, right? You do double punches, okay? All right, so your right arm, there's nothing to do, you set up, okay? Hi. Set up, down. So, do, do. Bang, tap, tap. Make sure no heels up, this foot, okay? All right, at all, David. Okay, move forward. When we do kawi maki, scissor block, one is at the belt, one is shoulder. When you do this, bring it up to your shoulder. Also, your lower hand is doing different speed. Bring it to your shoulder across like a windshield wiper. Inner wrist, shoulder high, shoulder wide. So here, relax, bang. The other side, same thing, relax. But, so initiate with a lower hand. So one last time. Right after key up, he's gonna do scissor block. Hey, do and up. Hey, do. I know. Jump. Okay, we're gonna do the whole form once. Okay, section by section. Okay, so ready? Turn it up. Jose, turn back. Jimmy. First form move. Okay, at the uh, acceleration with the kicks and explosiveness. First form move. Cheek. Yep. Stop. Immediately. Stop. Down. Down. And the other side. Keep the heel down. Okay. Now this is a pretty challenge part. All the way to Kiha. Okay. JB Boom Wachiki and Perry block three times. Up. Stop. Down. Bang. Bang. Stop. Foot. All right. Let's go back, please. Okay. Now we're going to do K 
Kungang Yomaki. Diamond sidewalk. All right, this part also involved with the psychic. If you see the explosiveness and recovery for the after you're doing psychic. She duck, 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 and immediate kick, duck, and then duck. Feet together, continue, continue, duck. Back. Good. And make sure to bring your feet together, okay? And then all the way to Kiha. Go! Feet together. Stop! Immediately. Stop! 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 Let's go back. Kiha. Fun! And we finish with the last four move, okay? Kawi Maki. So this form has a lot of kicking motion. So it's a good way to have the good athlete demonstrate their kicking. Oh, and then how they recover after kick. Okay, go. Down, immediate, bang. Down, down, and immediate, stop. Hello. Go. All right, thank you, Mr. Diego. Okay. All right. So, so here you have it. Okay, so we have a Koryo Kungang Tebek free forms. Okay, of course. Uh, if we want to go to the more detail, I can I can spend more time to explain to you guys, okay? Because we have a different different level, different uh, role. We have a uh, uh, coaches, we have a uh, referees, we have uh, athletes, okay? So hope uh, you guys learned a lot, okay? Uh, we're gonna use some time uh, if anybody has any questions. Mr. Alex, can you can you check with them? You can take order. Yes, sir. Thank you very much again. For sharing your knowledge today with You're us, welcome. it's been very valuable for all of us. Thank you very much, sir. Very welcome. Support. So, okay. Thank you, dear participants. You're joining us today. If you have any questions, you're going to have uh, a few minutes in order to give uh, the time to you to ask a couple of questions to Grandmaster Sue. We won't have too much time, but uh, a few questions we have. Time. All right. So first, first, uh, before starting the, the Q&A questions, Q&A session, sorry, I would like to bow first. So we end up. Let's bow first. Harriet. Come here. Thank you. OK. We have one question here from Master Leandro from Brazil. Hello, okay. Master. Hello, Master Leandro. Hello, Master. How are you? Master, okay. please. Uh, Master Alex, uh, translation, Pufa, please. Si, si, si. Maestro, and Sonal, sonal Pacamaki or Sonal Codromaki, among the defense line. Linha dos ombros, ok? Yes. Muitos atletas, quando defendem, defendem linha do plexo, um pouco mais baixo. Existe dedução nesse, nessa defesa um pouco mais baixa? E também, a questão do pulso quebrado, existe dedução também quando quebra um pulso? Is, okay. is there any deduction, sir? He's asking if, uh, if it's a little bit down, lower than that it should be. And it's not that uh, deflection, it's not properly done. Usually, if you make a little mistakes, it's a point one deduction, punto uno. Okay, so when you do this, all right, if you just a little bit high, a little bit low, it's okay. No, no, no necessary to do deduction unless somebody, you see, fingertip the shoulder high, right? But if you're doing way too high, that's too high, it's point one. Right, just a little bit, it's okay, okay? Usually around shoulder, it's okay, but the angle is important, the angle. If you usually need to fix the angle, it will be good. A lot of people, it's the angle, you know, this is too, too the angle is too wide or too narrow, right? So if you go to the, it's all, you drop your shoulder in the right position, the, it will fix the problem. Also the wrist, wrist not supposed to be like this, just like your kick, not like this. Not like this, all right? Should be straight. But you fix your elbow, okay? It will, it will 
it will fix the problem. Understand, Master Diandro? Thank you, Master. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. We have another question here uh, uh, sent to the chat box from Master Carolina Mejia from Colombia. Okay. She's asking you, sir. Uh, you can translate. Yeah. Yes, uh, with the Piazza Chirugi, uh, the arm which we you did the, the block should be straight to the in the Piazza Chirugi, the other the other arm. Yes, this is a choreo pumse, right? So yes, yes, sir. A choreo pumse, as I mentioned earlier, you only allowed to turn your wrist, right? So this arm when you punch, derecho, straight, this arm. This arms, okay, watch it here. This is a little bit bent, it's okay. This is bent. But the punching arm has to be straight. So how, your body cannot be straight because you wanna punch, you have to twist your body a little bit. One, two. See, like this is overextended a little bit, solo flex level. This arm need to show straight. If you show bent, it's a deduction. Okay, thank you, sir, yes. Carolina, ¿alcanzaste? Si puedes bloquear un poquito el micrófono. Sí, señor. Está claro. Sí. Lo que, eh, yes, sir. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Any more? We have another one here. Uh, if Alex. the kicks. If the, sorry. Oh, Alex, the, uh, later, if I could, I would like to make a question. It's Fabiano from Brazil. Thank you. Of course, Master Fabiano, just give me one second. Uh, we have another question here. Yeah, the chat box uh, saying the kicks, if not, they're not above the chest, is there any deduction? Uh, okay, so the kicks, it's a little bit different than punch and the hand technique. Usually the kick has to be above your collarbone and above head. Okay, there's no deduction. You kick, you kick here, you kick above, no deduction. But the difference, if you kick higher, your flexibility is better. So your presentation, the third category, expression of energy and value of the movement, you can score a little bit higher. Accuracy is the same. But if you kick in the chest, okay, point one, punto uno deducción. Okay, chest, kick here and up, it's all okay. All right, but if you're doing block, block here, montong, you go to neck and as I mentioned a couple of times, uh, chin and show a uh, neck, where you, punto uno, point one. You go to the face, point three, okay, All right. So kick is a bit more relaxed. You kick the, some people like me, I cannot kick high anymore. So kick in the chest, you get point one deduction. Also presentation, the third category gets scored down. Right. Thank you very much, sir. It's, we have a question from Master Fabiano from Brazil too. Okay. Go ahead. Hello, Master Sue and Master Alex. Thank you. In Tebet Pumse, when we make Sonal Montomaki and then Kelson Kutsio Chirigi, this hand, do I need to raise then to Nulomaki or keep in the same position and then the spear? This is like a Tegu Saja, same, right? Exactly the same movement. So when we do this, all right, the hands not intentionally pick it up. It's when your body move forward, okay? Your, your hands set up. This hands naturally you go forward, but a little bit, okay? Not intentionally up, a little bit. All right, so that's a, not an accuracy deduction, usually. It's not necessary, but some people just go like this. It's okay. But if you push forward a little bit higher because you're moving forward, it's okay, no problem. Don't overdo it, okay? All right. Thank you. Same like Tegu Sajan, right. You're welcome. Thank, thank you very much, Master Fabiano, Master Raymond. Also another question from Antonio here. Why, why Master, is, Fen uh, Master Fennel, IT. Yes, sir. go ahead, go ahead, thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, with this Master Sue, I have a question. Why 
uh, WT decide that the dolio chagi is better to kick outside the center of the body? Uh, it's not WT. Sometimes it depends who's the referee chair. Okay, all right. Okay, I think Alex understand, right? Or if you are international referee, quien es jefe? They make a decision. You have to follow them, right? Why are they gonna uh, make a line, pass the line? Uh, I think it's uh, maybe they consult with some of the grandmaster, just like before, two years ago. Are we milky? Why? Why before it's like this? Right now you go back, right now it's this. This is a deduction, punto uno, point one. Right now it's this way, all right? So sometimes it depends on the on the, uh, the referee chair, okay? They might, uh, you know, have a, uh, some uh, guideline, all right? So right now they have to pass, uh, pass the center line, okay? I don't wanna say 30, 40 degree, but as long as you pass a little bit, I think the kick, if you pass the center line has a more power, maybe that's the that's the reason I assume. But he never uh, say anything. But right now that's the that's the criteria. And also the looking, right? Before you say look forward, but right now you have to look up. If you don't look up at your kicking foot, that's a point three deduction. All right. So that's we follow the direction of the chair. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Master. We have another question from Ms. Lucia Kobayashi. Yeah, Master Hello, yes. thank you, Master Alex, Master Sue. Uh, my question is about the back to say on yes. the diamond stance. And in the diamond stance, uh, we have this position. Uh, it's allowed to be largely open or have to be uh, straightly forward. Uh, Mr. Alex, can you spotlight her so I can see what she's doing? Wait, wait, wait a second. Sorry, yes. Wait, wait, wait a second. Now uh, take your time. Lucia. Where are you? Can, can you can you talk again, Ms. Lucia? Okay. 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 okay, you you are four okay. lighted now. Tell me what's your question. Yes, it's on Tebec Ponce. We yes. have diamond stains. And on diamond stains, uh, it's allowed to be largely open closed, or have to be uh, straightly directed to the forward. You mean the, the spear hand, the, the footwork from here to here? Yes. You have to be uh, akubi, akubi shape. You cannot do tegupatia. Tegupatia is angle, right? See, tegupatia is this way, right? That's tegupatia. We call, we call diamond stance or angle. Where, uh, where are you from? Brazil. Brazil, okay. I don't know, uh, I don't know uh, Portuguese. Okay, yeah. So this is what we call angle stance, okay? Or diamond stance. This is a normal, normal akubi, right? So in Tebet, Pumse, when you change, we want to do normal akubi, okay? To normal akubi, no deduction. If you go normal akubi to this diamond stance, it's 0.1 deduction. Okay, right. thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. We will have time for two more questions. Okay. Two more questions. Thank you, Mr. Adrian Burnett. Go ahead, please. Uh, Master Fennel. President yes. Fennel. Yes. Mala. Uh, moi salue nous toutes. C'est Haïti. Okay. So he's saying hello, hello. to everyone. Eh, no, 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 eh. Connection? Oh, he's mute, unmute him. Oh, okay. So, we, no, di merci a master no pour seminar, sir. He's saying thank you, good master, soon. 
Et nous dit merci à président Fresnel Austin. So I'm saying thank you to President Fresnel Austin. Et c'est la première fois Haïti participé dans ce genre d'activité. It is the first time that Haiti participated in this kind of activities. Seminar. Et nous ça. We are happy with this seminar. Pour mettre nous up to date. So we can be up to date. Et ça fait nous plaisir. It is a it make us it is a pleasure. Et nous souhaitons pour fédération haïtienne jeune plus. We are hoping that the, the federation will have more. Jeune plus formation et plus encadrement. Plus formation et plus encadrement. More information and more seminar and more uh, encouragement. Parce que avec le eh, président Frenel, Taekwondo a lié dans l'autre niveau dans le pays d'Haïti. With this change, not only for Haiti, but also for the Caribbean air region, so we can have more experience. Nous remercions tout le monde qui a participé et dans nom de David Magloire, nous remercions le président Frenel Austin et Master qui a présenté ce séminaire. We thank you, we thank you everyone for their participation. Also, we thank Grandmaster Su, as well as the Haiti Taekwondo president. Okay, you're very welcome. I think, you know, in the future, you know, we can have... Uh, Hello? Uh, yes, yes. I think in the future, yes, you know, can contact WT, like Master Shin. Hello? Master Austin, we can, we can work in more uh, seminar in the future, okay? Thank you. Thank you very Hello. much. Uh, so, Mr. Adian, so go ahead with your question. Thank you. Hello, Master Fernel. Yes, sir. Yes. C'est Pierre Richard. I thought the moderator said this is uh, Pierre Richard. Mr. Adian, go ahead, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. In Kungang Kungse, um, just before we make the double hinge blocks, could you explain the footwork for me, please? I was missing, um, if you have a slight adjustment on how to make the turn, the spin. Or how to make a spin, right? Okay, Mr. Diego, yeah. Small hinge, okay? When we do the small hinge, we're gonna spin, okay? So do it, Jujun Suki, yes. So he's gonna spin that way. So what we're gonna do is, okay, you're not allowed to reset the arm, okay? When you step, step, okay, step, then you, that's the time you set up your arm. So usually this is a one foot space, a little bit more, a little bit more, yes. All right, here, okay. Then it's gonna spin, spin, right. So you should keep in the lower position. Not up and down, you go loose, loose balance. One more time. Okay, so step and set up and then go. Da, da. Same time. So that's how we're gonna do the, uh, we call, uh, this we call a, small, a, a large hinge from here. Your hands should be here, okay? Large hinge, hinge spin. Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Adrian, is, is that okay? Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And the last question, sorry, but the, I know there's many questions there, but we can also uh, have a, we will have the video to mastaekwondo.com so you can repeat it many, as many times as you want. Mr. Alexis from Italy. We have people from Italy. Oh, Italy, okay. Go ahead. Oh, hello, Master Su. Hello. I'm from Italy. I met you in Napoli uh, two years ago. Hey. Yeah. Yes. Uh, my question is about Kungam in the way to help my, my, my child to speak. Uh, when we make the Monton de Chumaki, Kungam, no? the, the, the arm, we can, yes. it, in this way, uh, this way, up, oh, oh, uh, up, in the in the the measure of 
at the level of the uh, the the shoulders or more yeah. inside. So not open up. Shoulder high. We think shoulder. Shoulder wide. Shoulder high. So you're doing this. Right. Relax. Elbow down. Shoulder high. Shoulder wide. Right. Okay. Cross it and cross. Using your hips. Turn 30 degrees. Okay. This way. All right. It at the same, at the, at the same in Korea. Yes, all the move, okay. even you know, like you're doing Hansu. Same Hansu. Bah. Yeah. Same. Okay. Right. Same Korea. Right. It's all. It's all the same. Yes. Thank you very much, Master. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Alexis. Thank you, Grandmaster Sue, again, for sharing uh, this knowledge with, with us. It's been very valuable for all WTPA family, and of course, to all those uh, who are watching us through social media platforms, many people around the world watching the seminar. So thank you very much, Grandmaster Sue, for your time and for your effort by, uh, to showing us these uh, three pumses. Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you. Okay, so till now we would like to bow. So thank you all to your uh, students there too, to Mr. Diego there, uh, also for helping us. So let's bow, let's get ready. Bow for one last time. Thank you very much for following us. Thank you, Mr. Farrell Austin for supporting this activity. Thank you all to you as world class uh, Taekwondo Association, Mr. Farrell, last, last few words. Thank you, Master Raymond. Thank you. Thank you a todos, a todos. Once again, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Grandmaster So, for your uh, many experience. Thank you so much, uh, Master Kiri, uh, Mundo Taekwondo, for promoting the event. And of course, we want to say a big thank you to Grand Master Shen, Master Shen, for sponsoring the event. And everybody, we have uh, so many countries uh, around the world. We have Haiti, Bahamas, Aruba, Barbados, British Virgin Islands, Carosaro, uh, Jamaica. We have uh, from Cayman Island, USA, um, uh, Italy. We also have from uh, Costa Rica, uh, Brazil, Trinidad and Tobago, Bahamas, Mexico, Colombia. So there's a lot of country here today. So we are a big, big, big family and we hope that we will continue train together side by side. Um, this seminar is coming to an end. Great job once again to everyone. And uh, we are looking forward for our next seminar in a couple of months, Grandmaster uh, so, so, uh, In a couple of months, we may be reaching out to you again to have another seminar. And at this time, uh, we will probably from uh, Taiguta five to eight. I would five to eight and then uh, sometime in November, October, we'll do from uh, one to four. So that will we give everybody a big range of experience. So today we start a little bit higher and then next time we'll go a little bit more middle. And then finally we'll take the initial step. So thank you again, Mr. Alex, appreciate all your time. Um, thank you and thank you everyone for being present today. Thank you again. Have a good weekend, enjoy, and don't forget to follow MassTaekwondo.com. Thank you, Ms. Claire. Thank you, at World Taekwondo Association. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Gracias, Alex. Uh, gusto, 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 gusto,